Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to this the final of the inaugural City of Adelaide Snooker Championship. Um, we have two very fine players got through to the final. Uh, firstly, both players are from Victoria, uh, Ryan Thomason. Please welcome Ryan. <laughs> and secondly, the current uh, Oceania champion, Kurt Dunham. <laughs> Your referee for this afternoon's match will be Kravi and Chandra, also from Victoria. If I could uh, please ask for everyone to be quiet when the players are at the shop and also make sure all your mobile phones are turned off, please. I'd like to wish both players the very best of luck. Good. Play well. Play well, mate. I'll leave you in the hands of the referee. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the 
final of the City of Adelaide Snooker Championships for 2016. Today in the final we have Kurt Dunham, the current Oceania Snooker Champion, playing Ryan Thomason. Both lads are from Victoria. Both gentlemen had uh, thrilling semi-final victories. Ryan Thomason defeated Ben Farnsworth 5-4 and Kurt Dunham defeated Adrian Ridley 5-4. Both lads are actually on their way to England later on in the year. Oh, as a matter of fact, Ryan's leaving on Tuesday to go spend some time with Neil Robinson. And Kurt's leaving in about six weeks to take up a spot on the Pro Tour. Conditions here, as you can probably tell on your TV or, or your computer, are perfect this afternoon. No forecast of rain. It's the first opportunity of the match for Kurt. bit unfortunate. Struck it well though. Take a bit of confidence out of that. I'm looking at the start of the match, you always want to be striking the ball pure. Sure, if this red goes into the corner pocket, could even be an opportunity for a plant in the center. <coughs> for, for all our viewers out there, my name's Sean Budd. Sitting beside me for this afternoon's final is the one and only Dan Lynch from Q-Ball TV, the unsung hero of Australian Q Sports at the moment. Ryan's actually been in Adelaide for the last week playing snooker, preparing for this event. We're a bit fortunate.
left this red to the corner. A little bit careless. Even though Kurt is the current Oceana Snooker Champion, I give a slight edge to Ryan. I just think uh, it's his time. Still looking for his maiden victory in a national ranking tournament. He has won the Australian Six Reds twice and will be representing us in Thailand later on in the year. Ryan also holds, holds the highest break uh, this weekend of 101. tricky but if you can drop the pink in and kiss that red full Probably both a bit nervous just at the start. G'day, Glenn. <laughs> Wee bit loose there from Kurt. Again, a, a little bit fortunate not to leave Ryan anything easy. Yeah, you can mute it. So. Joining me this afternoon in the commentary box is Glenn DeMaker, multiple time South Australian snooker champion. Thanks for checking in here today, Glenn. Thanks, Sean. I don't know about uh, state champion, but I've been the, uh, the minor champion, the first one, and uh, uh, normally about a top 10 player in the state here. I never, never, never let the truth get in the way <laughs> of a good story, Glenn. Looking forward to this final this afternoon. Yeah, Two very young stars from uh, Australia. Both outstanding young gentlemen as well. They've both come through very, very uh, arduous semi-finals. 
probably four hours, I think, plus. So, uh, but this is a new game, and uh, it's going to test their mental strength. Absolutely. Early days. sometimes slow down the match when you've got a uh, a colour over the pocket like that. I think this red might just get sneak through. It's a cracking shot. Good shot. The way the reds are situated there's really no reason for Ryan not to put together a winning break here. They do seem to have a problem with the score at the moment. Another great shot from Ryan there. Perfect on this red, drop it in for the pink. Nine. Just uh, saying that uh, this is our first major tournament here in snooker in our new club rooms here in Richmond in Adelaide, in the Adelaide metro area. So our new uh, club rooms here. Seen some very, very good breaks uh, in this tournament and uh, very, very good uh, conditions for the players. Alvering again, he's taken the blue. He's just worried about where the, the pink actually spots. Doesn't want to tie up those three reds. Just play this through for the black. Just landed a little bit closer to the cushion than he would have liked. Um, that was the mistake from the previous shot, not getting through the, the bulk colours. Uh, but um, he should still be able to pop this, but uh, not as easy as it would have been. No, I might have actually got a bad contact there too, just having the white ball claim. Key shot in the first frame here. Struck it very well. It's a great shot. Again, might have just got a, 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 a bad contact. Got to cue this in nicely now to get around for his next red. Just drop that in. Good shot. He's got a little angle to get back to the black. And continue his break. Yeah, it was definitely a frame winning opportunity when he started. Oh, no dear. Maybe some early uh, early nerves in the first game. Oh, definitely. Major tournament. Definitely. By the time they get two or three frames into the match, though, they uh, they they won't even be worried about nerves. Good shot there from Kurt. Just a little bit straight on the blade, but I think he can come out uh, and uh, be looking for one of those three reds near the pink there. If you are watching and you're in Adelaide, we have uh, some tables available for social play. Um, obviously, come down and watch this live. It's always better to watch it you know, like 
being at the game and uh, got some fant fantastic drink specials on, $5 pints of beer all afternoon, a, a great bistro. And pop into the commentary box and say hello. Glenn's always up for signing autographs. Just a little bit uh, awry there. You should still be able to pop this uh, pink without too much trouble. But uh, and that green, that green's going to hamper him a little, I think. Push the red to the side cushion, um, just uh, slowing him down. The thing about Kurt is he is a winner. He's a former Australian eight ball champion, multiple winner, In different Q sports. Originally from Tasmania, now resides in Victoria, soon to be in Cambridge. So, oh. practice partner with our Neil Robertson, no doubt. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, Ryan's actually in the fortunate position to be going with Neil to the Crucible this year as oh. his official caddy. Wow. Well. Nice. Ryan's actually become a vegan just recently. Name is Neil. He told me it's only because Neil won't pay for meat. So. <laughs> so he said he will eat whatever he doesn't have to pay for. It's a lovely shot. He might be able to get through to the pink here. It's still difficult to get onto that last red, so or the second last red. If he can get through to that pink, it'd be quite straight. May possibly take the blue just. Uh, It's just got to cue it nicely. Maybe give it, get a cannon onto the red. No. It's got very there quite red. easily. It's a good shot. For all the mistakes we make, ladies and gentlemen, too, we have a very bad angle of the table. So it's not our fault. Probably just pop this into the. Uh, Middle, maybe possibly get a cannon onto the top cushion and onto the black. No, try to remove the last red. It's one of the risks of trying to move a red off potting a red, as they always say, uh, the white balls landed right on the cushion. He does need the last red, so pop this black and maybe even. Maybe just play safe on it. <laughs> Kurt's uh, 28 points behind, still 35 on the table. Ball's in not particularly uh, bad positions, but. Uh, I think we might see a little bit of a safety battle here. Unless, of course, but he might try and put the red up behind the yellow and the brown. Kurt played some terrific uh, snookers towards the end of his uh, semi-final match uh, to win against uh, Adrian this afternoon, and uh, could actually say a snooker won him the match. Mm. Adrian being 18 points in front on the yellow, Kurt played a cracker of a snooker and uh, got nearly 40 points out of it. So I think uh, Kurt might uh, better just get through to that. Uh, he might be able to maybe able to put the red away. I'm not sure. It's a bit hard to see from our uh, position here. Wasn't intending that. So Ryan just needs the last red for Kurt to need snookers. It's a good shot, very confident. One. That should see him uh, go to a 1 0 lead.
if Ryan does miss this yellow, Kurt will play on. He only needs one snook at a time. And the green and pink are in very, very good positions for snookers. I think we'll see Kurt just uh, probably stun this down the table. He's, uh, he can probably get the white ball nice and close to the brown. Getting the ball low. He's overplayed it. Caught the jaw. And it's very unlucky catching the jaw there, but... Uh, <coughs> Personally, with the, where the green was, I, I probably would have still tried to put him in behind the green. Just um, because you had to hit the yellow so hard to stop the white. But, no. Two snookers required now. Thirty-three points the difference. 25 left on the table. Depending on how he feels, he may uh, try and hit the... I uh, know, oh he's going to... What he's doing here? Maybe I think he's uh, coming off about four cushions, trying to get him in behind the pink. Hmm. Judge of pace, really. Oh, very, very good attempt. Really a cracking shot there from Kurt. Had he got that in there, it would have been very difficult to get out of. Kurt plays a very mature game for his age. Uh, it's his pedigree of playing pool. And um, just his safety is exceptional. When he does decide to play it, he does have a tendency to have a crack sometimes. This looks like an easy pot here, but it's... Uh just be playing safe on that one. Try and make it difficult for Kurt to snook him. Ideally, Kurt's looking for an opportunity here to just move the pink or the black whilst leaving Ryan safe, just to, to get another ball into play to play a snooker behind. Oh, we tried to move the black then. Now he's uh, put the blue safe as well, so Ryan will be feeling a little bit better about this, right? Oh, uh, Ryan's lost the white, but again, a little bit fortunate not to go in off. difficult to snake her from this position. Yeah, even if he pops the green and the brown, he might try and screw him in under the pink, but he still requires another one after that, so... Thanks. I think he's left a little angle there to perhaps hit the brown very fine on the right-hand side of the brown as he sees it off uh, maybe one or two cushions either to get in possibly beyond the pink um, or at least to disturb them. Just in between frames, as I was saying earlier, these two young lads are uh, both going to England later on in the year. So if there is anyone out there that 
interested in sponsoring, uh, sponsoring an upstanding young young gentleman in this great game of snooker, uh, feel free to contact Cubal TV or um, we, we have numerous tournaments throughout the year as well. We're always looking for sponsors and um, it, it really is a, a great game for people of all ages and there, there is a, a real opportunity there for, for young kids. Like Glenn was saying earlier, we're at 57 Milner Road in Adelaide, uh, level one of the West Adelaide Football Club. We've been uh, great supporters of what we're trying to achieve here. Um, the club itself is a fantastic venue. Um, we're open from 11 a.m. daily. Window. little bit of a discussion here, there, there seemed to have been a, a chip in the, the white ball they were using. Um, here we go with the second frame, Ryan Thomas to break. Sean, you were saying that Kurt's come from a eight ball, nine ball background. Uh, an eight ball background. So it's yeah. very good to see him uh, um, playing in different cue sports, as you say. Absolutely, made the transition. There's been a lot of great Australian snooker players who have uh, initially started playing eight ball. Um, Quinton Hand, Joel Younger, even Neil uh, used to get there and play play a little bit of eight ball. His brother, Mark, actually plays at the highest level of eight ball as well. And for that matter, is a fantastic snooker player. So there's some real talent out there. It's, mm. it's just about getting the players not only the recognition, but, but the money they deserve. This isn't a, a cheap hobby to have. No. So. I think Ryan can get through to that red on the left-hand side of the pack there. Hold for the black. Right. Perhaps may not have been able to see enough to put it away, but he's uh, he's given Kurt a bit of a chance here into the middle pocket. Lovely shot from Kurt. Cracking shot. 
Well, you got one wrong as well then, Glenn. Yes. I thought, I'm glad I didn't say anything because I thought he was going to go for the one in the centre as well. Mustn't have went. Probably take uh, the brown, I think, to come off the uh, the bulk and side cushions to come back. A bit short on pace there, but not too bad. He's got a mid-range shot here on that red on the left-hand side there. Let's hold again for the black. Underdone that uh, a bit. Just a wee bit short. May still be able to pot the black if he chooses to go for it, but the position is uncertain. Yeah, hold hold the white with the red. The red might actually uh, disturb a few reds as well. It's a lovely shot. Fantastic shot. And now he's got a, a loose red there. Black to follow. Actually got a couple of open reds before he needs to, to go into the pack. next to the pink. Underdone it just a fraction. Mm. He hasn't got the... Uh, it's on the angle there. He may uh, just go across and try and hold for the the pink because the blue's not uh, not there to, on its spot. So it makes life a little, a little bit difficult for him with the blue not being there. Now he can just screw straight back to, for that bottom red and should be back in. Watch his cue power here. Not too bad. Uh, probably a few centimetres short of where he'd like to be, but not too bad. Left a tricky pink into the middle, if that's the ball he, uh, he chooses. Just a little bit in between shots at the moment, overhitting one and just short on others. Moved a bit on that shot, I think, with the power. He's got away with it, I think. He has got away with it, unless the plant's on in the centre pocket. I'll just be playing safe here. Just try to leave him on the right hand side of the table there so that it makes Kurt's escape route off the right hand side of the pack as we see it. Now this can harder. go wrong if he does hit it thick if he's playing it that way. He's decided against it. Good shot. Played it very well. Open the reds up and he's given Ryan a similar type of shot to play for, but at least he can get his hand on the table probably. Just a little bit easier than the one that Kurt had. Strong right hand side there to swing around the angles there. Might find all the reds in the bottom right hand side of the screen. Yeah, in a shortly we might. <laughs> That's a terrific shot. Shot to nothing. I think he's got this brown into the middle. If it's uh, a little bit off straight, he may be able to come up for the. Uh, the reds, but he's just playing a little safety snooker behind the green here. Now Ryan will be endeavouring to find a path through to that, the red on the top rail. Just probably left it a bit away from the green there. He wanted to get it right up next to the green uh, to make uh, Ryan's escape route much harder. Ryan's going to play this hard off two cushions and oh no, he's going to hit the black. Seven. 
Mm. Interesting shot selection there from Ryan. Cause mm. Even if it was to hit the red, he was always a chance of leaving this red on. That one's wow. wiped its feet, but the main thing is that it's gone in. Going to play a delicate uh, shot here on the black. Uh, probably hold for the red just to the right of the black spot as we see it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, Coates definitely still trying to find his feet, which is. Uh, He's got a good lead here, but that, that could be gone in a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's pink and black, uh, both out in the open. Red's just to one side, so it just makes it a little bit trickier than usual, but... Uh, That's all right. He needs the remaining reds and the colours up to the blue to make the frame safe. There's nothing here that's overly difficult. First things first, he'd just be trying to get back into the frame. So take the loose reds or... One's a, a little bit more in the open. Probably just concentrate on the black for the moment, but... Uh, I'd even play up for the pink here. Oh, no, he's just going to drop it in. I think yeah. you probably want to get rid of that red just to the right of the pink spot, and then it'll free the pink spot into more, more pockets. He may try and get onto that one here. So it just depends on how he feels. He's got different choices here. wasn't the nudge he was looking for. He's yeah, still got a red into the centre, a red into the corner. I think he'll play the one into the centre. <coughs> oh. Wrong again. He's just going to go for this into the top pocket and hold for the black. That's why I'm in the commentary boot and they're playing. <laughs> it's a very good shot because he's actually developed the other red, he's pushed it towards the middle of the table. Makes his uh, life a bit easier. I think both those balls, both the reds next to the pink spot will go into the top pocket. Yes, they will. They certainly will. And now this is a, a real frame winning opportunity for Ryan. Swing round off a couple of cushions here. No, it's gone the one. Just checked it up off the rail. Might mm. be a, a little bit straight on this red in the middle. Might just have to screw straight yeah. back for the black. Oh no, he's playing it through for the pink. Oh, when he's missed it. Mm. Wow. Uh, nice break there from Ryan, but thought he might have cleared up from, from that position, but just uh, got a little bit straight on that red into the middle pocket and limited his choice of shots. That's 
a great opening raid from Kurt. Kid it very nicely. He <coughs> might have ended up a little bit straight on the brown. Lots of blue, all the brown. He's going to have similar shots on the red. Looks like he's going to take the blue into the center. That blue might be just a little bit harder than it looks, uh, but um, just probably drop this in slowly. Leave himself a mid range red there. <coughs> he needs to clear up from here to be able to uh, take the frame. Key shot here. You played it lovely. <coughs> Just overhit that slightly because he's uh, he's probably got the blue into the bottom pocket. If it's uh, straight, depends on how he. Uh, otherwise, he may uh, slam the pink on, go around the I table. I think he's got to take the blue. Just looking at the pink. Here we go. It's going to come around the back of the black, I think. I think I'm about 9 and 0 now, or 0 and 9. Let's kiss the black. No, didn't want that kiss on the black. No. End of break. Very tacking, though, and uh, had he got round behind the black, he probably would have been onto the yellow and cleared up. It's a very good shot. Snook it in. Two cushion escape here from Ryan. Hit it fairly firm, try and get some separation between the yellow and the white. He's played it very well. Very good shot. And I think probably snooked Kurt back in the process. He has. If Kurt can get uh, enough on this white ball, he could probably return the favour to to Ryan, hitting the yellow underneath from behind. Played that ball with strong left hand side. It's pushed it towards the pocket though, and uh, looks to be an easy shot, but uh, they are missable sometimes, especially with the pressure out there. And 11 foot of real estate in between the white mm. and the yellow. Some and very good real good. estate here at Richmond. Yeah, there is some very good real estate here at Richmond. <laughs> <laughs> now here's an opportunity for Kurt. I think he can get through to that yellow to put it into the right hand bottom pocket as we see it. Done round off two cushions for the green into the same pocket. No. May not be able to see enough of it, so it's a very good shot again. Kurt's keeping the pressure on Ryan here. On most club tables, you'd aim below the centre pocket. Here, you aim above the centre pocket with the, the skidding rails. It's a very good shot. And not a bad result. If you can't get between the blue and the pink, it, oh, you might be able to hit a, a, just an edge of the yellow. Yeah, I think he hit just the right-hand side as we see it. Oh. He's missed it. Kurt happy to give the four points away rather than hitting it. Um, Too thick to and le safe. leaving him on the yellow, yeah, of course. I yeah. don't think he's got much choice of hitting it too thick, maybe. I don't know that he can see too much of it, but... Referee just checks with both players um, 
about putting the white back into the same position that it was or close to the same position. This is called the miss rule, so that if the basically if you can hit hit the ball directly, there's no question you the um, referee will call miss and ask Ryan if he'd like to put it back in the same position it started, which he's done here. Let's hit the yellow thick, try to put it onto the side cushion. It's a good shot. Ryan's played a, a very nice shot there. Lovely shot. Put Kurt in a little bit of trouble here. Can't come off anywhere on the left hand side of the table. Let's put the length of the table between the two balls. And uh, you can just come off the right hand cushion there somewhere, but uh, just being a little bit easier to hit being uh, close to a cushion at the top end of the table. Yeah, it looks like he might have overplayed it just a, a touch. And he has his left Ryan on this. And if Ryan does manage to drop this in, he will be perfect on the green. Great shot from Ryan. Probably winning the second game, I think. Barring any misses. Bye. He still needs the blue. Looks to have a little bit of an angle. Just to stun down for the blue. Nice. And perfect. that's perfect. Blue probably wasn't available in the, in the left hand centre pocket, so it's no. a very good shot. That'll make him feel quite good. Yeah, Kurt's a fantastic player, just struggling for a little bit of form at the moment, but. All you viewers out there, trust me, Kurt doesn't go away, so. He's definitely not out of this one.
Okay, we've just got some early safety play here in the third game. Just a containing uh, safety shot. Leave Kurt on the top cushion there. We've got uh, Adam Wyatt in the commentary box here. Welcome, Adam. Thank you, Glenn. Good to be here. stuck at this end of the table for a while now. Those two reds up the balk end. You can't really play off one and leave, you know, the chance of leaving the other one on. Probably just going to dribble into the pack again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Though that may oh, uh, change maybe a red a on bit. in the middle here. Yeah. Maybe go for a double. No. Yeah, Push another red down the other end of the table. Mm -hmm. Strong left hand side there to come off the side cushion behind the black. Yeah, Kurt might be forced into taking this on. Red into the middle pocket, this angle, but uh, if it goes in, he's on the blue. The first mistake of this third game. Ryan mm -hmm. can get himself on the board here. One. Good uh, early opportunity for uh, to get a, an early lead here. And Ryan's really had control of the match so far, hasn't he? Yes. Might do a gentle little uh, cannon here onto the two reds on the right hand side, but he's gone into no, the that's back. The way. <coughs> he's hit, I think, and he's got the blue. made a mess. Be disappointed with that because it was quite a potable blue and going for a big break. But now, unfortunately, the uh, the black and the blue look like they're a bit out of commission, so he's got to try and get under the pink from here. Tried to knock the black out, but didn't quite get the right angle. Into break. Did you come off the side cushion here and try and get in behind the black? Good from his eight ball uh, background. Good shot. Yep. 
containing safety. Important here for Kurt to keep Ryan under pressure, not let him get in, say, three frames in front. Best of 11, so it's a comparatively short match. And yeah, there's a big Try difference between 2 1 and 3 0. Trying to sneak it in there behind the black again. Raise his cue here to hit low on the white ball, try and bring the white ball back towards the black again. He's cued that one very well. Right. He, uh, he's given uh, Kurt a chance here. Still a lot of pressure out yeah. there. Yeah, this first shot is the key shot, but if you can get it right, the balls are starting to spread nicely. May uh, just drop the sin, try and hold for the pink into the pocket down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen as we see it. Well, it's running a little too far for that, I think. Just start to hit it. Um, so there's the green. Green into the right hand bottom pocket, possibly the yellow into the bottom left hand pocket. Sizing up the yellow. Maybe thinking of the yellow, possibly that if he misses it, um, may block the reds. But uh, more of his eight ball. Yes. Very rare to drop it in slowly against this. Uh, now put the cloth down there. It's a very good shot. Oh yes, some of Kurt's eight ball uh, coming in. May possibly have a tiny little angle on this red to come out for the uh, the next ball. Yep. He's just over hit that slightly. I think he wanted to go for the brown. He wanted to be much straighter on the brown. Yeah, should still be able to hold for one of those reds down that end. Nicely done. Gentle screw there. Still not that easy. It's a tricky red along the, the bottom cushion if he goes for it. He's got to use the rest. Mm. Position's a bit uncertain. This could go wrong, but it could also get him right amongst the balls for a, a good break here. Certainly not frightening going for his shots. Yeah, they're definitely two of the more attacking players on the Australian circuit. So I think probably the yellow would be the uh, the ball here. Really wants yeah, to. Yeah, he's uh, just looking if he can if he can stun it there and leave the red into the middle from the right hand side. Depending on how he feels, uh, he may possibly hit this harder and uh, even possibly come out of there and try and get onto one of the reds next to the pink. Get into some high break area. Push the red into the middle pocket. I think he might have snookered himself on that. It'd be very tight. No, it looks like he does have the angle. No. Still a bit unsettled, is Kurt.
possibly this red may go past the the pink into the right hand pocket so the red that's just to the top of the pink as we see it but no he's safe to shot again the side. just leaving him on yeah. the back cushion he has left a few balls on i must say May go for this red into the middle we'll pocket there. The middle. Yep. Not easy. Looks easier than it actually is. Yeah, these shender tables, the middle pockets are... Mm. It's a terrific shot. <laughs> One. Just a little bit on the straight side on the green, but I think he can... Uh, yeah, depending just on the enough angle to, to stun over for that red on the cushion. Deep screw here, I think, to come up towards the two reds next to the pink there, I think. Or the red at the back of the pack may possibly go. Or the red into the middle pocket. Mm. <laughs> that yeah, was actually... That might be his only option. Wasn't a bad shot because he's given himself a choice of reds here, but just went a bit too far. Uh, he would have liked to have been a bit closer to the middle of the table. Balls are still tricky with the black being off its spot towards the cushion. Blue being off its spot possibly goes into the top right hand corner as we see it. It's a very good shot. Come around behind the black. Get the black into back into play. It's got a little angle there to uh, come out into the table for. Red. And ideally he'd like to come in and open up that bunch a little bit with the, the four balls there in the in the centre. Well, just played for the one loose ball. Slowly incre increasing his lead, 23 points now. Early days. 13. Left an angle on the black here, probably to maybe this time to open disturb that the reds if uh, there's nothing free there. It's very yeah. unfortunate that. Just uh, quite short of power there. He, he needed to hit that probably much harder than that. Back to a safety shot. But he's now got a 31 point lead, so Kurt will be feeling better over that. Possibly a red on here at the the second of the uh, reds closest to the the black, the left hand side of those, maybe on into the middle. Be a bold shot for Ryan to take it on, but uh, I think he's just playing a safety shot here. That's what you call a spread them out safety shot. Trying to tuck uh, Kurt right on the top cushion there so that. Uh, Ryan can't, uh, can't put him back there by hitting down on the ball. But uh, there's a chance of a pot here. It's made a mess of that. Missed it by a long way. Yeah, Ryan with a very good chance to get back into this frame. Just having a look there to make sure the green's not uh, hampering the news. Looks pretty tight. Just screw back for one of the next colours. 
not too bad. He'll probably just punch this yellow in. Maybe hold for that red next to it. Those two reds on the right-hand side of the table make uh, certainly clearing up much more difficult. Even the blue where it is, uh, not so easy. Just left himself a little angle on that red next to where the white is to uh, come back probably towards uh, the blue, pink or black. Needs to get some high colours to get himself back into the frame. Yeah, exactly. Oof. Just coming off the bottom and the right hand side cushion there. Wow. wow. sure what he was trying there because he hit it really really slowly so mm, mm. yes he tried to hold for bought color but um, what was coming next after that I don't know okay we'll play this with some power yeah, I think just not quite enough angle for him to get back out onto those bought colours. And yeah, unfortunate yeah. kiss there. He hasn't done too much damage. Well, Ryan looks like he'll be uh, returning a the favour with a safety. Kurt will take this uh, red on that's straight up from the black here. Gives him a basically a free hit of it. Back to the lower colours if it goes in. It's yeah, got a very good white ball the there. Yeah, I'm not sure he actually did take on the pot now, given the way he played it. Just 24 points in it, 67 left on the table, but uh, balls aren't easy to clear up. It's a lovely no, part. It's quite an awkward position from here. I think uh, be a roll up not many guesses what the next shot's going to be. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favourite shots. <laughs> And he hasn't played that that well. He, he should have got square in behind the, the brown. Yeah, a lot tighter on the brown, but looks like the green might be um, preventing the natural angle to get to the reds at the top of the table. Which no, is he's the just black going across here next to the centre pocket there. The Quite a, a large area to, to play for. And uh, that was a good shot. So I think Kurt will be disappointed he didn't put Ryan in much more trouble there. Yeah. May have a chance to do that again here. I think he'll go fine off one of these two balls, try and put him back in trouble again. So 25 points the difference with 59 left, so it's a bit of work to be done yet. <laughs> Quite a bit of right-hand side to get that white back up into Bork. He didn't cue that very well. Um, right. Ryan just a bit short of pace there. He's, uh, I think, 
Kurt might possibly have a go at this red here. We'll just see if the blue's not blocking the, the potting angle because he, if that's the, the one that he goes for, that's the only one that he'll leave up should he miss it. He can pull the white ball back about a centimetre and he's got the blue or the pink on. Key yeah, shot here. I think you'll find he can pull it back more than a centimetre. No, I just played the stun to get it's down a very good the shot. Plate. Just basically mm. trying to increase his lead here. He, uh, it's difficult to clear up it in one visit here. Yeah, we've won at least two more of these reds. He's going to punch this pink into the middle and just thinking whether he wants to try and scroll onto that side cushion to disturb that red. But uh, it does have a bit of risk to it. Just drop the black in, I think, and maybe the red along the top cushion there afterwards. Just pop this and uh, come out for the black. Leave a little angle on the black if he can do it. Mm, that's a bit more angle than I think he wanted. He's tried to leave an angle there to get onto that red onto the or to get it out onto the left hand side of the screen there, but he's it's now a bit of a tricky black. But, uh, Again, a bit of eight ball play there. He's uh, tried to drop that in, leave the red into the same pocket, but the black to block it if he misses. So, very clever. Well, I'm quite sure he would have rather potting the black. Yes. So, Kurt's now 34 points up with just 43 on the table. So, the winning post is just a little bit close, closer there for Kurt than it was. Still got that red on the right hand side. But I think Ryan's going to take that off to... Uh, yeah, he's taking on the double here, I think. No? No. Prove me wrong again. Ryan's going to attempt to get the right. balls out into the open so that one mistake he can uh, have the chance mm. of clearing up. Yeah. Whether by good luck or good management, he's managed to snooker that red that's now in the middle of the table. So this is the safe red and Kurt's got to move it, so he'd prefer to have left that there. Oh. Played off the back cushion. He's tried to hit it so fine, um, he's missed it and he's hit it on the way back. Now if Ryan can uh, knock this one in... Mm, the balls are certainly got, there. He's got the black waiting for him. And he may possibly clear up at this visit, but he's still a bit of pressure out there. It's a good pot. Wow. If Ryan can win this uh, third game, that will uh, hurt Kurt a fair bit. Yeah, to hold a 3-0 lead, uh, it was a solid lead, but looking back at the Oceania Championships just last month, uh, Kurt, I believe, was 4-0 down in the in the semi-final against James Mifsud wow. and came back and won. Tremendous play. Ryan just doing his maths there, but uh, there's plenty yeah, of balls left on the table. He's you just need the lot, Ryan. Take this. <laughs> He's just underdone that a little bit. He, he wanted to be probably, say, another centimetre yeah, out. A awkward, so he? the yellow is more straight. It's not, the yellow is not on its spot, so it's a bit, uh, bit more of an angle than it usually is. It's 21 be behind, 27 on the table. So a clearance will be needed. Mm -hmm. The key shot will be the brown to the blue. 
and with the pink being close yeah. to the blue makes uh, makes that easier. It's just got to get nice yeah, and close to the blue here. Yeah, he's well placed to, to land on this blue. Coming across the table off one or two cushions, no? Wow. I thought he would have uh, come across off uh, the right hand side cushion and got right in next to the blue, but uh, there's still a lot of pressure out there. This blue is missable. That's a good shot. No problem. Yeah, almost an identical shot now for the pink. Needs pink and black. No. Well, the pressure's starting to tell. And so he somehow knew to leave the white on the cushion as well, so maybe he uh, wasn't, wasn't too confident with that shot. Mm. It just requires this pink, but it uh, be a safety shot here. Mm, he's made a mess of that. He, well he tried, of tried to leave the pink on the right-hand side cushion there, and he's hit it far too thick. Mm, he, he really needed to leave the white on, on the book cushion. But still, he gets another chance. Well, being an old eight ball player myself, I think uh, Kurt might take this double on. Um, just depends on where he thinks the white ball Yeah, so he doesn't, leave. doesn't need position for the black, so all he needs is the pink. Ideally, he'd be wanting to play the pink slightly on the right-hand side of the... Or the left-hand side of the pink as we see it, so that he can bring the white ball towards the top cushion yeah. if he misses. He's and gone for it, there, but a little and too he's far. hit the jaw. And it might be second prize. And he's I covered think the he's pink. come out very, very lucky. I'm going to be quite upset over that, I think. Just going to uh, come off the top cushion there. Yeah, he's cushioned first. Try and hit it hard. For a bit of a swerve. No. Wow. I think he's going to come so, yeah. fine off the pink, put it behind the black, put the white ball down the other end of the table. He's hit that. Uh, mm, he's left that on. He's got a very, very good white ball, and uh, well, Ryan can yeah. take this one on, but it's quite missable. Yeah, and really, no chance of holding for the black from there. No. He sort of he took he it on a bit, go. but <laughs> he's got that white ball close to the cushion here. Kurt's got a decision to make here whether he takes this one on. Full full bore yeah. at it. Well, he, he won't want to play use his eight ball methods with this one. He don't, <laughs> don't want to leave that over the hole. See how he's queuing here. That by a long no, way. no, I think he's <coughs> he missed that by so far. I'm sure he was playing for the snooker. Mm. I think we'll see Ryan go for a safety here. Wants to get the uh, oh, gone for the cross well. double. Well, I think this is a chance for. Kurt here. It's a fine cut into that yeah, pocket. Just, but, uh, uh, yeah, just need to control the white, make sure you don't um, manage to find another pocket. Oh, well, he's gone for it. And see where that white's going. Well, he's left this for out, so this Ryan. Is yeah, this is one. It's With a nice a angle to get back for the black. It's probably a slightly easier shot for Ryan, I think, uh, here. Of course, the pressure still, he's got to get onto that black. 
Ten. Sharp. He's uh, gone near the side cushion the there. So here we are for the black. Frame ball. Key shot in the match this one, I think. As Adam said, 3-0. There it fight. is. Very good pot there for Ryan. Kurt with a lot of work to do to get back into this match. Okay, start of our fourth fourth game here. Kurt taking on this long red here, trying to stay for the black. It's a cracking pot. Nice one. That's an absolute cracker. Let's cue that really, really well. Nice angle on the black. A couple of loose reds there. He's made a mess of that. He's uh, hit that too low. He's screwed too much. It's taken the power out of the white. And uh, end of break, he'll be very disappointed with that. Yeah, a lot of margin for error. Really wanted to get into a good break building position there to reassert himself over Ryan. Ryan's just taken the opportunity to open the reds up. He's got a very, uh, he's put up a little bit short, but he's uh, got a good white yeah, ball he's there. Covered, covered all by one of those reds. No problems for Kurt. Yeah, but not really putting Ryan under any pressure. 
really simple to get back up and leave another safety. He's overhit so that. Made a bit of a meal of it. May see Kurt uh, start attacking a little bit more here and just uh, throw in his cue at the middle and uh, really try and get himself back into the match. It's going to slip away from him otherwise. Take this red on here, hold for the black. Good pop. Black spot's covered, so uh, it's going to make a, a mess of that, I think. Uh, um, yeah, so with all the spots occupied, then the black will go as close as it can get to its own spot in, uh, in a direct line to the top cushion, which is the bottom of the screen as we look at it. So it'll tie the black up. So unless he can disturb that red, oh. but uh, fortunately he's left the white there. This would be interesting. Leave him out of commission for any of those reds. I think that so uh, the tells will, us all. The referee will put the black as close as it can get without actually touching that white. Adam's one of our senior referees uh, from oh, uh, Perth. Been there once or twice, yeah. <laughs> Who's our referee today, uh, Adam? This is uh, Praveen Chandra from Victoria. Oh, yes. Class 2 referee, which is um, obviously the second highest standard, but mm. um, that's the standard that basically qualifies you to referee a world championship. Mm. Uh, Kurt's just having a really good look there to see whether he can get through to the uh, red. I think he may still be able to, and if he can, that would make a big difference. Very fortunate. Just a little screw shot here to get a cannon onto the other red next to it. It's a Unfortunately, the, the white was just squeezed into an awkward position now for, for this black. I think he may have played that with a little bit of uh, side to try and uh, move the uh, red off its, the off its line, but... Probably couldn't quite get to the right angle, so with a bit of left-hand side, that'll push the red off to the right. Now, if this black is on and he goes for it, it's a bold, bold shot, but... Uh yeah, and it'll go, the white will go directly into that red, just above the black, and who knows where it'll finish up. But there's no real easy safety shot here, I wouldn't have thought, so he may go uh. for this. Ah. Well, I think he was going for the safety, but he's had an even worse result. Yeah. In off the black, seven points away. Not too much damage done. He, there's nothing easy on here for Ryan. Yeah, but uh, you, you can actually say, well, he's gotten the white back into Bork. Hmm. But a chance for Ryan to perhaps leave a better safety. Just uh, this red to the left here. He's uh, yeah, hit the blue. That's hit that too shot. thick. Really, no excuses for that at this level. You've had ball in hand. So the black's not in a potable position. Uh, pink probably not. I think he's going to go for this. Pull back off the side cushion for the, the blue. blue. Oh, colours. Just draw the pot. Sort of a shot to nothing. Good choice of shot. Ryan just playing a safety shot here off the red next to the other one. Oh, he's found a plant. Very, very good. And what's more, he's got a little angle here on the blue as a bonus to come up the table, <coughs> possibly disturb the pink if he wishes to do that. But, uh, yeah, it depends if that pink will go into the into the right-hand middle. 
Nice, played the little shot. Yeah, gives me the, the red on the right hand side, back up for the blue again. Not really a very good yeah, angle he's there. He's looking to see if the pink will go into that top left hand pocket. It's probably tight, but if it does, then uh, he's got a choice of reds on how to do it. Pink it's obviously goes, it. that's a bonus. And if the pink spot, if the pink is slightly off its spot, which is hard to know, it might go to the black spot, but we'll just have to see. Oh. Well. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lapse of concentration there, I think, from Ryan. Watch his cue power here. He's got to come out for the blue. Great shot. Easy. Very good shot. He's got an angle on the blue, but he's uh, got some work to do if he wants to score anything uh, meaningful here. Pink on the side cushion, black on the top cushion. So I think you'll be looking to get back for the blue for just about every shot. Mm. The, there's an, they often say that you don't win very many games off blues, but uh, we'll see how he goes. Sometimes you have to. This really is a must-win frame for Kurt. Hmm. I think he's landed probably straight on the blue, possibly. Yeah, even a bit short, I think. which will make this next red quite difficult to then get back for the blue again. I'm going to drop this in dead weight. And the referee's taking the scenic route. <laughs> so he's he, he went to the other side of the table, so he wasn't in the player's uh, player's line. Good pot, and I think a yeah. very good position. Just the right angle, very good. Now we'll just see, depending on the angle, I, it probably just come onto the next red, but I think he might try and disturb the pink here, but that's always a risky shot. So he's just going to stay with the uh, blue. One more blue. Just has to keep getting on to the angle on the blue to keep coming back up the table again. He's yeah, under hit that. A he's hit it now. too too high. Not enough bite on the white, as they say. Now he's got a slight angle going away from the the next red, so he's just going to probably drop this in. Maybe go for the red yeah, along classic. the top cushion there, but. It's all very difficult. Possibly, yeah. It might be just a shot to nothing with the the red on the right hand side. The way as we look at them, just bank the points, and uh, I think he's going for this red here. Yeah, he'll take it on, but it's a shot to nothing. So mm. if he if he misses, he's not going to leave a ball on. He's got a very good white there. Good pace. I'm Getting the white ball close to the back cushion always makes it. The shot much harder than being one or two centimetres yeah. off or more. I think he may have covered that red that's now on the left hand side cushion. So he's got Which hit this. Means, yeah. So oh. Ryan, Ryan's just trying to drop onto this ball, but it looks like it's nowhere near hard enough. Made an absolute mess of this. Uh, and he's. Managed to leave them all safe, so I think we might find him put back. So Kurt's now 31 points in front, so again, makes him feel good. Uh, a lot of work to do to win the, the game still. Mm. As Adam said, it's a, a must win game for Kurt. If 
Similarly, if Ryan was to win this, a 4 0 lead would be some yeah. serious work for Kurt to do to, to get back to into climb. it. You're in our lovely rooms in Adelaide here. Yeah, so, this is actually the, the first national ranking event we've had at the, the Snooker SA headquarters. Mm. And the the response from the players has been fantastic. The the, can, the conditions have just been spot on. Well, Ryan's made a mess of this because um, he's now missed the red twice, and the referee's going to give him a warning um, that uh, if he misses the red again, it will be a yeah. loss of game because. Uh, Yes, yeah, so in this situation where he, he can hit a full ball of a red right. in, in a straight line. So definitely wasn't going to miss that one. Yeah, but he's got the black out and uh, this will yeah, be a... Left a few choices on for Kurt. I think he'll probably, although he'd like to just drop it in, drop this red that's closest to the black spot in and hold for the... Uh, the black, uh, it just depends yeah, on how he feels. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. <sighs> just got to cue it in nicely. No. Wanted to go down for the blue. He's made a mess of it. Possibly Ryan can get through to this red to the right of where the black is. The other red uh, closer to the pink spot, he's going to stun this one in. Good yep. shot. He's got on the, the black. He's got the black. Position may be a little uh, bit tricky here because the, uh, depending on the angle, he might be colliding with that red that's next to the black. But yeah, he, he doesn't really want to. He wants to, to hold for that red that's just above the black spot. No, the cannon was unavoidable and it's left him with quite a difficult shot the length of the table to get this red. Unless one of those reds on the top cushion goes. So those, ooh, there was a an odd looking contact there. Yes. <laughs> the white launched off into into space. Well, Ryan's uh, taken that difficult red. He's put a lot of top spin on it. He's got onto the blue. Now he's just going to hold for the black here. Good shot. A little angle on the black. He may uh, yeah, disturb he these two reds that are closest to the top cushion here because he'll need those. No. Right, yeah, just stun out for this one and try and leave an angle this time. But he's uh, left an angle. He probably got in for the blue, I think, off this. So just under hit that. Just under hit that as well. Mm, he's got a tiny little angle here, but yeah, you can work with that. A lot of power required yeah. off two cushions here, no? Yeah, a little left hand side. You see the reaction of the white off the cushion, mm. but um, he might have been better going, as you suggest, with more power off two cushions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back to safety again. Seven points the difference. Well, he's uh, <coughs> not gotten a snooker. I think we'll see uh, if Kurt can um, avoid contact with that red on the top cushion there. He may uh, take this one on with a lot of uh, screw. Come around off a couple of cushions 
for one of the smaller colours. Yep. No. He's, uh, he's played that pretty well. There is a chance of a pot here for uh, Ryan to take on. Uh, cracking pot. Nothing very easy here for Ryan. Um, no, I need to just roll the black in. And then that'll, that'll leave him on that last red. Be a chance to see how well the uh, tables have been levelled here, which I'm sure they they were. It's uh, always yeah. very, very risky doing a shot like that uh, on any table. Um, bit of dust on the cloth or something uh, just throws it off its line. But he took it on. Yeah. I think we'll see Kurt take this one on and uh, take the white ball down the other end just in case he misses, but uh, it's just got to cue it in nicely. There'd be a few nerves there to try and uh, get his first frame on the board. Great right part of the red. One. Now it'll be very difficult to control the white coming out of this black sitting in the jaws. He'll need to get back around and get an angle on the yellow. Watch the pocket. I think he's very fortunate there to have hit the jaw because the way the, the speed the white had on it. I think he was trying to go between the green and the brown there, uh, Adam, and so it's quite uh, inventive, but uh, he's still got a, a shot here. He's 14 points in front, so... Um, yeah, he'll need down to the brown. He won't require that pink on the right-hand side of the table there, no. whereas Ryan does, so back to safety. Yeah, and he's now given Ryan the chance to bring the pink back into play. Kurt won't be very happy about that. Good safety shot. Pink's still a little bit tied up, but uh, it's better than where it was. Tried yeah, to tuck him behind the uh, the black there, but it's a just a little bit too much pace. It's a good shot. I think we'll see Ryan here uh, hit this one. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be looking for the white tucked up behind the brown. No, he's oh. put them on the side cushion there. Mm, no, that's very he's poorly executed. Got away with that. I thought he may have hit the uh, put some check side on the white and tried to hold the white behind the brown, mm. punch the yellow back up the table, but uh, I think that might be a uh, yeah. snooker with the blue and the blocking the path there. Yes yeah, it is. So a bit of a swerve now from Ryan just to whoop. It's made an awful if he doesn't miss that. cue it then it um, is it the pink? Yep. And he's so uh, six points to cut. And Twenty yeah. points the difference, so Kurt just requires yeah, his yellow off. and the green for Ryan to require snookers. Mm -hmm. A little bit close to the side cushion, but I'd still expect uh, Kurt to knock these yeah, two balls fairly in. Fairly straightforward. Now, fairly, it's a longish green, but uh, definitely gettable. Frame ball here. It's a good pot. 
He's right behind the brown for the uh, middle pocket there. I think that's probably the uh, yeah. first game on the board for Kurt, barring any uh, issues here. Missed the blue, but... Oh, that was a very... Yeah, I've got to bite my tongue. <laughs> that was inexcusable. The frame was safe, but uh, you've just given Ryan another sniff now. He'll still need a snooker. Two snookers uh, still, but... Uh, oh, there's my mouse here. It's 29 the difference. So it's actually three. No, 24 but the difference. <laughs> Should have gone back to that, to, back uh, to school for that me. place that advertises know. the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's going for them. He's just going to go fine off this uh, blue. No, he's not. Wow. Go for a snooker behind the... He's going to punch the pink down the table and try and get in behind the black. Yeah. Uh, not With the pink enough. and black left on the table, uh, Ryan would get six points uh, penalty at least if uh, if he snooked yeah, it. In. So Very I've difficult I've to snooked. Got snook my calculator out. Left I left believe it's 19 the difference now. So six for a six point foul would yeah. uh, bring him back into play with 13 mm. on the table. A lot to do for Ryan to win this game still. I think yeah. that will be his last shot it's in this game. A... As I said, Kurt will be feeling a whole lot better after this. Always important to get yeah, that frame definitely. on the board. Yeah, they say the, the hardest frames to win are the first frame and the last frame. So. Very warm applause from our Adelaide crowd and visitors from around, uh, around Australia, mostly. So, still plenty of uh, time to come down and watch the uh, the match if you're in Adelaide. We're in our uh, country areas. 57 Milner Avenue at Richmond. That's free entry. So... Uh, the, uh, this is the club rooms for South Australian Snooker Association. Been around since 1913, so uh, long time. So uh, had our hundredth birthday, and uh, see you in a minute. Uh, start of the fifth game. Kurt breaking off here. He's hit those uh, quite thick and he's brought the red down. He's got a good white ball, but uh, I just wonder if uh, Ryan can get through to this and uh, if he drops us in, it'll be a very bad break for uh, Kurt. He's hit them very thickly. No. 
Ryan's uh, made a mess of that. Tucked up on the cushion, of course. Not uh, not easy. I think he may have given uh, Kurt a chance here. Uh, this red will may go to the uh, corner pocket, but he may have been lucky. Well, can't see. No. Back to safety. Just punch the red down. Put the white ball into bulk. It's got that white uh, nice and close to the back cushion. Ryan just going to take on one of those two reds next to the side there, I think. No, wrong again. I think he's probably got cover on that uh, by the pack of reds, which is quite fortunate. Quite a crowd here at uh, Richmond watching this final. As Adam said, uh, quite a uh, large crowd here for the first major tournament here at the club rooms at Richmond in Adelaide. Well, that's a terrific uh, shot. He's, uh, I didn't think he could get past there, but he's uh, he's been unlucky. Shows on his face. Full-blooded. Uh, Tried to maybe uh, crash into the reds, uh, perhaps get onto the, the black from there. The red was quite an easy pot in the finish. Hello. Just uh, t taking the yellow, leaving the white ball down there. A little bit of a swerve, in fact. He may. Uh, nice. Uh, so he's mm -hmm. going to go and off. Good shot. Well, Ryan's taken that one on uh, as a bit of a shot to nothing. Uh, would have been on the black had it gone in. He hasn't left anything here for Kurt, unless he uh, can see maybe a bit of a, a plant here between those two balls at the back of the pack there. Not easy, mind you. But uh, he could possibly punch run one red into the other and hold for the black. Well, he's taken it on, and what a cracking shot that was. Clearly his eight ball skills coming in there. That was a very, very difficult shot with the distance between them. And he's overdone that a bit. However, I think probably this red goes into the the bottom pocket here, past the, hopefully past the blue from his point of view. If the blue does block that red, um, won't be a very easy shot here. Taking it into the middle, so just a gentle shot here. End of break. <coughs> Just a uh, safety shot here. He's going to try and swing the white ball around to get in behind the brown and the yellow there. It's quite a, a big target to try and get in there, make it difficult. He's pushed a red over the pocket there. And I think probably won't be very happy about that because I think Kurt can get through to it. Even though it's on the cushion, it's quite an easy pot. I think there's a natural angle to get onto the black or the uh, the blue if he wishes to come up. But uh, he's, he's played that very badly. And he's left a chance here for Ryan.
tried to get onto the blue to leave a angle there, but he's uh, he's on the wrong side of the blue. White ball travelling away from the reds. Probably some adrenaline pumping in there. May possibly, I think he might take the brown on, but uh, it's just going to roll this uh, blue in and uh, stay for the red there. He'll either go for the one closest to the side cushion where the black is, or... Uh, yeah, so he's just going to mid-range pot here, stun this in and try and hold for the black. Seven. Very good shot. A little bit of right hand check side on that one to come out. It's got a nice angle on the black, he can do whatever he likes here. Good shot. Chance of a big break here, I feel. 50. Good shot. Just taking these nice and easily. come up for the red just at the closest one to the black there just above the black as we see it no not sure what he was trying there but I think he's got uh, a red into the center pocket here just a uh, no it's going for the top pocket again well he's um collided with the red next to the blue there. Probably just um, take this and he's just got to go in and out of bulk, but I think he can miss those three bulk colours there. It's all about pace here now. Might try and get on the black from here. We'll see him maybe just drop into that red onto the top cushion. He's made a mess of that. Just breaking down on the odd shot here. Uh, both Curtin and Ryan. <laughs> this final. Both fairly evenly matched from what we can see uh, here. Both quite young still, but quite accomplished in their skills. He's played a sort of a delicate kind of position shot there, but he's missed the pot by uh, a fair bit. It's a good pot there from uh, Kurt. Very clean. Not very good with his uh, position there. I think he'll uh, just put Ryan right behind the uh, the brown there. Yes, he does. Good shot. This is going to cause Ryan some problems here. Very easy to hit the red, but um, a lot of margin for any red, really. But uh, just got to 
pick a spot out on the table where he uh, can leave the white. He's going to go for the red on the right hand side of the screen, I think. I think that's what he was trying to do, uh, but he's uh, he's really uh, missed them by a long way. It was very difficult to cue from that position as well. It's got a cue over the uh, the green. Doesn't have a lot of uh, margin for error there. Referee's called a miss, of course. So. Uh, Kurt's put Ryan back in. He's trying to come off the bottom and the side cushions and around to the right hand side of the table there. Wow, he's just, uh, he's picked that out very well. It's left nothing particularly uh, easy here for Kurt. He does have a red into the centre pocket there, but it's uh, very missable. And I think we'll just see him uh, hit this one very finely and put it sort of down in uh, past the black. Good shot. It's never easy to, to bridge on the corner pockets. He's brought that red down, and I think he's left that red on for Kurt. Just basically you want to uh, pop this, get out into the table a bit for the next ball. Probably just put an extension on his cue there, he's overreaching. really got a choice of the three bolt colours there, the green, brown, yellow. If he really goes uh, for a deeper screw, he'd go for the up towards the blue. I think he was trying to get onto the blue there, a very delicate uh, screw shot there. Never easy when you're putting extensions on the, on the cue because it changes the weight of the cue and everything. Really got sort of a tricky angle here on the. Uh, I think he'll probably may take the brown. I think stun it off a couple of cushions. A lot of power. It's not too bad. Would have liked to be a little bit uh, straighter on this red, but I think he can pop this red next to the pink and come back for the the pink or the blue. Six. Well, he's left this pink into the middle. It's a tricky part. I think he's left it that way to, uh, to get on the right hand of those two reds next to each other for the top pocket there. Possibly screw onto the right hand red there. It's a very good pot. Just going to take this one. Uh, tricky shot with the rest. It's a very good pot. Getting himself back into this fifth game. Tricky to get onto this next uh, next red. Could possibly, uh, I think the pink will be his ball. Could probably come off the uh, with a lot of topspin here. I think. 
come off the top cushion and get towards the reds for the right hand side. That's a great shot. It's just slightly underdone it, but he uh, he can get onto the back of those, the right hand of those two reds mm -hmm. next to each other for the centre pocket, or he can take this red into the top left hand pocket. And so apologies for my disappearing there for a little while. Just uh, went for a bit of liquid refreshment. It's probably some of our favourite beers from South Australia that he's uh, choosing. But uh, well, They're not a sponsor, so I won't mention their name. No. no. Uh, key shot here from uh, Kurt. If he can knock this one in get out into the middle of the table, get on a good angle on that pink, then there's just a chance that he can uh, make a really good break here. It's a good shot. Just a little bit short yeah, on that yeah. pink. Yeah, it gives him a very tough angle to do anything with those reds, so I think it'll just be bank the pink and then run for cover. He may possibly, depending on the angle, he may hit this one quite high and come off that side cushion and back out across the table for one of the two reds into the pocket near where he's bridging. And there we are. Great shot. Of course, if he pots one of these now, he'll hold for the pink, most probably, and uh, it's adjacent to those reds. Well, he's underdone that. He's uh, too yeah, close yeah. to the side cushion. I think he's almost straight on the pink. Um, if he knocks the blue in, it's going in and out of bulk. Yeah, and a bit of congestion there to get through with those colours, those bulk colours. Uh, he'll be feeling quite good. He's knocked a few good balls in here in this break. himself back in front in this fifth game. And he's made a mess of that. He's um, left the unfortunately pink got good position on the red. I think we'll see uh, Ryan take this one on and uh, probably screw across for the the pink, try and get that back onto its spot, but the difficulty will be getting from, if he gets to the pink, getting from pink to yellow, that will be the hardest part. May. It's not too bad, he's, uh, he's got an yeah, angle there on the pink. Nice little angle. The judge of uh, pace here, be coming yeah, next to the, uh, the black pointed his cue at the black there. He just needs to make sure he doesn't doesn't hit the black. And he's gotten through nicely. A great shot. Just a bit close to the side cushion again, but uh, we'd still yeah, expect him to... Couldn't do any more. If he hit it harder, it would have, would have come off more angle and would have hit the right. black. So. Good shot. That's a very, very good yellow. He's right behind the green. And probably a chance to clear up, I would have thought. Doesn't require the black on the left-hand side of the table. Just requires the brown and the blue to take a 4-1 lead. Ryan's uh, barring any snookers and things restored his uh, his three frame lead. Well played.
Yeah. Right. We'll have a, a ten minute interval. So we'll uh, see you back then. Want a better financial future, but just don't know how? Want to travel and maintain your current lifestyle while building your very own property portfolio? Make it a reality. It's much easier than you think. We've already purchased our first investment property, and we won't be stopping at one. Reventon has helped rev up the financial future of thousands of Australians, just like you. And it's so simple. It's fantastic. Reventon do it all. I run my own business, so I don't have time to do it myself. Thanks, Reventon. If it wasn't for Reventon, I don't think we would have known where to begin or how to get started. So go on, start today. Rev up your financial future today with Reventon's free wealth guide called Grab the Bull by the Horn. What are you waiting for? If we invested earlier, I believe we could be semi-retired by now. So don't wait for tomorrow. Do it today. Call 1300 125 880 for your free Grab the Bull by the Horns Wealth Guide. Or go to reventon.com.au and make your dreams a reality through property.
was about to say it. Want a better financial future, but just don't know how? Want to travel and maintain your current lifestyle while building your very own property portfolio? Make it a reality. It's much easier than you think. We've already purchased our first investment property, and we won't be stopping at one. Reventon has helped rev up the financial future of thousands of Australians, just like you. And it's so simple. It's fantastic. Reventon do it all. I run my own business, so I don't have time to do it myself. Thanks, Reventon. If it wasn't for Reventon, 
I don't think we would have known where to begin or how to get started. So go on, start today. Rev up your financial future today with Rev and Tom's free wealth guide called Grab the Bull by the Horns. What are you waiting for? If we invested earlier, I believe we could be semi-retired by now. So don't wait for tomorrow. Do it today. Call 1-300-125-880 for your free Grab the Bull by the Horns wealth guide. Or go to revanton.com.au and make your dreams a reality through property. Welcome back, everybody. It's uh, Glenn Tamika here, back in commentary. <laughs> Start of the sixth game. They've had a slight interval here. So uh, it's going to be a very uh, crucial period here uh, for, uh, for Kurt, especially. Really needs to try and get this, uh, this next game back on the board. Three frames in arrears. Knocked that one in. He's uh, tried to hold for the black, and he's uh, he's lost his white, and he's in uh, in a bit of trouble now because um, he snooked himself on uh, all six colours. He's going to uh, go down south for uh, probably the uh, the green, I think. Off about three cushions. Hello there. He's just missed. Oh, he said brown. Yeah, didn't hear that in the uh, thing. So, just got director Dan here from Cubeball TV, the uh, the manager, telling me the call. So. Uh, I think after being so close to the. Uh, the brown, oh uh, the green last time he might change his colour. Yellow. A lot of yellow he's going for this time. A lot of real estate between the balls and I'll tell you what, he's come very, very close. Four cushion escape. So, uh, that uh, that snooker has already cost him uh, eight points. Hand on hips. Very difficult to negotiate. Teddy White, he's hit it. No. Oh dear. 
Well, he's very, very close to it. Um, ordinarily, you could uh, come just off one cushion and try and hit the pink, but he doesn't want to do that, of course, because uh, he'll leave all the uh, the reds up. Uh, he's gone again. He's kicked another goal between the brown and the yellow. That's four fouls. Kurt will be uh, sitting there just uh, remaining focused while he's uh, not at the table. Waiting for his next shot. And he, he's got it. Great shot. a good uh, safety shot there from uh, Kurt. He's put uh, Ryan in uh, some trouble here. He's uh, probably going to have a go at this red over the uh, pocket here. That's a great shot. It's a great pot. And due to popular demand, I've rejoined the, the talking snooker commentary team. Landed very straight on that blue, so he couldn't really go anywhere with it. So he's uh, left himself a mid-range pot here. He's uh, probably going to go back for the uh, the blue again. Seven. He's uh, overdone that a little bit. Might still be able to take the blue on, but. Uh, Depends on uh, gonna, uh, take the green, pull back uh, a bit. Didn't hit that that well. He's got a, two options here. He can either screw back or stun through for the black into the left-hand corner pocket. If he plays it well, it could be a frame-winning opportunity. Might be taking the one closest to the right hand pocket. And he oh sprayed dear. that, and he might have a bit of luck here. Well. When it rains, a pause. Absolutely perfect. Let's knock that red in. It's got a little angle on the blue to come out and continue his break. Kurt clearly won't be enjoying that. He's uh, going to take one of these reds uh, to the right of the pink. And uh, I think he'll just pull back about uh, one or two centimetres and probably hold for the pink into the, the bottom left-hand side of the screen as you see it. Or the blue. Again, he's gone a little bit too far, but uh, wants to be able to knock this uh, blue in and Play for those two reds, just yeah, the letter covering the black spot, yes. Been a little bit fortunate here, but uh, uh, certainly a, an opportunity to win this run. Don't think the pink goes to the middle. He's going to come straight back from there. Go on to get onto the blue again. 
and he's done it all wrong. He's on the wrong side of the, the blue. Takes him away from the next red. Looking at just dropping the blue in and stunning the red for the pink. Now there'll be some pressure on this one because if he misses, um, he'll most certainly leave Kurt up. So uh, a lot of pressure on this red if he takes it on. May possibly, uh, depending on how he feels, he may uh, may screw back for the blue or one of the bolt colours for some safety. I think a full one up, he'll just be stunning this in and good shot. He, uh, Played that quite confidently. Good part. Now there's an opportunity to get on the black. Yes, yeah, black may uh, go to the bottom left-hand side of the, the table as we see it on the screen. Just having a look at that now. Also checking where the black spots to see if he does take the blacker and uh, make sure the red's available to the left hand corner pocket. Probably going back for the blue I think. Not too bad. Didn't seem to get a good contact there but he uh, got a nice little angle that had come up for his next red. getting on this uh, red um, next to the two reds together that will uh, open things up a little bit may have a little angle there to can it into the red possibly to get the black out of there but I think he's screwing off it yes. perfect it's a very delicate shot very well played if that black goes there I'm sure it does Sean said the uh, the black may spot and may be tied up, so uh, still some work to do. If the red does go, there's a, a, an opportunity here for him to beat his highest break. Obviously it doesn't, and the black didn't go either. The curse is strong in this one. That's unbelievable. But, uh, really had the chance to... Uh, well, possibly win the win the fray. Now this for Kurt is really an opportunity he's got to take. Real crunch shot here. Looking at that one over the middle pocket there, just uh, put it delicately in. Probably get on the blue. One. He's uh, he's played what they call a drag shot there, which is. Uh, Putting backspin on it and then it just uh, holds, but he's he's hit it too slowly and he's straight on the black on the uh, blue. Sorry, I think he's forced to play the black here. This black is uh, a tricky shot. If it goes in, then uh, he's probably going to be okay. Well, it's a good part and uh, a little bit out of position here. He's uh, probably got that red just to the right of the pink. So it's not easy, the white ball being close to the cushion there. Eight. And just got to cue this one in nicely. No, he's missed that by a long way. Ryan, uh, 19 points in front. Just wants to make sure he doesn't pop the black here, but an opportunity to play a really good safety shot. Just 
just thinking about things while he's down on the shot, which is never advisable, but uh, it's just uh, thinking maybe the white ball might be going towards that bottom pocket as he comes down the bulk end. So he's just trying to work out which way he goes there with his white. Should have wow. listened to Sean, shouldn't he? Definitely should have had a look at it. Now, I just hope in. he hasn't left a free ball. I don't think he has. I think they can get through to the, the red closest to the right-hand corner pocket. Ryan's sending him back in. Just 12 points in it now. Trying to find a spot to pop to spot the black goes on the highest available, and the only available spot is the yellow spot, so that's where it goes. Well, he's playing a very gentle shot there, it's worked out very well. Now, I'm not sure if Kirk can get through to this red, I think he can. Mm. It is missable though, and there's a, a lot of pressure out there. Maybe playing this with a bit of side to uh, keep it away from the uh, reds, but he's uh, messed it up. He has, he's hit that very fat. <coughs> Nothing really easy on here, but uh, probably... Uh, Going to take this red next to the pink. Push the pink towards the centre pocket. Past the centre pocket, so probably end of break. So play a good safety shot. Probably leave the white somewhere behind the brown, or even behind the black and the yellow, which I think he's doing. Just off the left hand side cushion and the back cushion there. No. Well. Push the Just under hit of the smidgen, but mm. still this is a, a, a shot that it, it is on this top red. The red to the um. to the right. If he takes it on it'll be a full blooded there won't be any safety aspect to it. actually coming off the top cushion. Very gentle. This may go wrong. Might have. He's played it very well. Mm. He has left Ryan an opportunity here for the red into the bottom left hand pocket. basically smashed that and he's missed it by a long way. He did have an absolute lash, didn't he? Didn't have to hit it that hard. He, he could have uh, you know, crisply gone in, but to see Kurt uh, punch this one in the middle and pull back off the side cushion there. He's got a uh, good position here. Not easy to uh, try and clear up at this visit. Uh, that red decks to the browns uh, going to cause some difficulty. Would even consider stunning into the black off the blue to play the red into the centre pocket, mm, or the yellow even. But uh, choices galore. Looks like he's going between the green and the brown. Oh no, he's played my shot. Mm. Played it well. Just depends on the uh, the queuing if he has to queue over that yellow. But he just has to drop it in and he's got guaranteed of uh, colours here. That's there. 
Very good shot. Just now, six points in it. This is really a frame winning opportunity for Kurt. Needs to take advantage of this. Oh no. Oh, he's fine. Just snuck past that Pete. Good shot. Kurt goes one point in front. Three points left on the table before that red. Just under hit that again. Um, the beauty of it is, if he does pot it, he is perfect on this red. Well, he's right behind it. It doesn't have to do too much with the white. sort of shot that Kurt needs at this point to uh, just make his life easier. That was a good black. Thank you to see him punch the brown in here, hold for the yellow. If he holds himself together, he probably won't let Ryan back to the table, I wouldn't have thought. Just needs the three bolt colours to put his second frame on the scoreboard. Good shot. Tiny stun shot or screw or whatever on the green. Frame ball. of the pot. He's done that. This to put the game beyond doubt. Very well done, Kurt. Really needed that frame. Back to 4 2, makes it uh, a much closer final than 5 1. Had it Ryan have won that one. Just want to mention some uh, great performances this weekend from young Daniel Fadul, who uh, defeated Vinnie Calabresi, uh, Ben Farnsworth from Queensland. Uh, Queensland, uh, obviously, is a, a Kiwi. So but living in Queensland at the moment and um, great effort to make the semi-finals. Obviously, whoever beat me. Um, and, uh, yeah, that so, some of the, the play this weekend has been absolutely outstanding. Very good to see some South Australians playing in the uh, uh, tournament here. Peter Darby, multiple state uh, snooker champion. Peter Yudich and uh, yeah. New, new South Australian Ray Farley, a fantastic effort against Adrian Ridley. Could have won that match. And James Delahunty, of course, who's our uh, current state snooker champion. Yes. Yeah. Um, Sean Dallitz, who was very unlucky against Charlie Chafe not to go 3 all, potted the pink and went in off. Very good to see such a good field uh, coming to Adelaide, to our uh, Snooker SA club rooms.
just early stages of the uh, seventh frame there. Ryan's pushed a red over the pocket. Kurt will take this one on. It's found its way in. And where's that white going? Well, wow. made a, messed it up. It's become a bit unlucky. Maybe difficult to uh, even play safe off this, but if it's touching the pink, then he'll. Uh, touching ball. Damn. Need to put a microphone on the uh, referee to hear his call. <laughs> if it's not touching that pink, it's quite a difficult. Um, way to keep it safe you would just try and yeah there's not much of a path out of there yeah with the red being over the pocket like that no, obviously not touching just playing a very delicate screw shot i think here hitting the top of the white that's a very good shot i think he's uh, he's left the red into the middle uh but that's a, a tricky shot he was trying to hide that red on the bottom right hand side of the screen This is missable here for Ryan. Good safety shot there from Ryan. He's uh, put plenty of distance between the balls. He's covered that ball on the bottom right hand side of the screen, I feel. So Kurt can't get through to that one. He's just going to drop onto the uh, red over the corner pocket there just to leave the white there. Possibly hit it direct on. And he's pretty fortunate, I think. I don't think he's left that. Both Ryan and Kurt, both from Victoria, they, uh, they know each other quite well. They told me in the break. Nice pop there from Ryan. It's just going to drop this uh, blue in. May have a slight angle there to uh, come up for what the next uh, red. Reds everywhere. If he can get in really amongst the uh, the balls here, he could make uh, quite a sizable break. It's a good pot. Six. I'll just knock in this next red. Uh, hold for the black, I feel be wanting to get that red away from the black. Seven. May get a little cannon onto that red. Uh, not sure what the angle is. Maybe add a screw behind it to knock the red into the same pocket. That's what he's doing. Probably went a bit uh, further than he would have liked. He would have liked to have been a bit straighter on this one. It's a slight cut back. Okay. May uh, screw up for the pink, I think. Pink into the middle. Fifteen. It's a very good opportunity here, depending on where that pink uh, spots after it goes in here. If the pink's uh, free, then uh, it should be in uh, in business here. Uh, pink's Thank gone you. into a difficult position, so he's got to concentrate on the black, possibly the blue, if he goes down to it. Just come in 
Getting back on the side cushion, back off with a red into the same pocket. So I tried to put uh, reverse side on that to uh, come out for the the bottom of those reds, but uh, either didn't get a good contact or didn't hit it very well. And uh, it's going to take this red onto the bottom pocket. I feel. Again, very risky shot that one. And he's uh, presented uh, Kurt with a good chance to get himself back. Just uh, 28 points the difference before that started, so uh, nice angle on the blue to up for his next red. Just going to stun this red in to get onto the black. This really is a key frame. If Kirk can get this frame, he's right back into this match. At 4-3, really anything can happen from there. He was a bit straight on that black and uh, it's caused him a problem and he's fallen short on that red. However, um, he may, uh, depending on his angle, he might Try and crash through the pack here a yeah, bit. I think we'll see these reds open up and uh, get the pink out into play. Just thinking about uh, about that right now. Nicely done, but unfortunately. But uh, white seemed to slow up there. I thought they'd had enough pace to get past that black. Potted the ball perfectly, just uh, too much power or not enough. Just had a special delivery from the, uh, the the manager of the Snooker SA headquarters, Sean Budd. So thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Good pot there from Kurt. Tricky pot. And uh, he's got a lovely position on the... Uh, the green, he can put the white wherever he likes. So then he might have come down for one of these loose reds closer to the black, uh, although he's onto this red into the oh. bottom pocket next yeah, to the brown. Uh, get this one out of the way first and then go down and sort down the rest of them. Fine. It's a little bit, maybe a little bit straight on the screen, but. Uh, should be, should be fine. We've got three reds to play for on that right hand side that will all go, and then taking the brown to yeah. come out. It's just the blue on the way through. So choices everywhere. It's a good shot. He's uh, left the white ball in the middle of the table. As Adam said, to uh, give him choices. The 
it's a great shot. He's uh, played that with strong screw, check side, come off the side cushion out for the black. Gets the black on, back onto its spot as he goes to tackle the last four reds. And we'll also put him in front. Got a choice of reds into the middle pocket here. Seventeen. Let's take this one. Uh, maybe uh, stun up for the blue. I feel. There we go. Eighteen. Yeah, a little short, unfortunately. A bit short. Don't think the pink will go. So both these boys, twenty or thirty points and or less, and. Uh, just uh, missing the odd yeah, positional finish. shot at this stage. A lot of pressure out there. It's going to power this one in, I feel. A lot of top spin, right hand side. Bolt colours. Hasn't really got into this one uh, enough. Not enough uh, top spin on the white. I think it'll be very tight for that red to get through, for that to be putted. And he's taking it up. Or not. A lot of pressure on this one because, uh, again, if he plays it, depending on the, the angle, he could leave, uh, leave the ball up. Point lead. All of the colours on their spots. Certainly, uh, if he misses, probably Ryan's uh, more than capable of clearing up. That's a great part no, under pressure. Good. It's got a little angle on the black. It's a good angle to work with. May uh, drop in for that red on the right hand side. Um, possibly. You could go either way, yeah. I think you can. It can hold easily for the for the red into the middle, mm. next to the pink, that will which I think he up. may do to uh, just bank those points before taking on the more difficult red. Can on the pink. That's a great pop. Great shot. Great positional shot. Good confident uh, positional shot there. Unfortunately, we've said it a few times, he's a short on that blue again. I can only uh, imagine it's just nerves playing effect here because if it's their seventh game, they should know the pace of the table. But, uh, now he's left this uh, mid-range uh, red. Quite missable. 24 points in front. If it goes in, he probably wins the game. Hold the frame at least. I'll check you up on your terminology there, Glenn. Yeah. That's a great pot from Kurt. Just needs uh, any colour to the ball. Get past the blue, so he doesn't snooker himself, and then looks like he might stun. Puts uh, Kurt 31 points in front. Ryan needs uh, one four-point snooker to tie, plus all of the balls.
uh, with the colours all there, but actually leaves quite a big target target area for, for Ryan to get the smoker. Even if he doesn't get directly behind the black, or the double kiss there spoiled all that. And he's left the yellow on. So Kurt should be able to mop this up and run away with the front. I think it's just a bit finer than it looks, um, and obviously on the uh, side cushion there, but uh, I'd expect him to just drop this in. Yeah, I'd, I'd put a tenner on it. There we are. Good shot. We'd probably expect uh, Kurt to be right back into it now, 4-3. Turning Fine. into a great final here <coughs> in Adelaide. Brown won't bother him too much. Careless, but yeah, should make no difference. Four three. Ryan concedes. Now Ryan's going to break off in this uh, eighth game. Very interesting final. White uh, pulled nice. up a little bit, um, but uh, good shot. Yeah, good enough. I think he might it's have blocked off the left-hand side of, of that pack for the easy escape route. Yeah, it's a bit of a to get out on that right-hand side of the pack. Just going to go off that side cushion there. Strong yeah, side. Looking to roll up in the pack. And he's missed it by a long way. It's a very poor wow. shot. Big margin for error there to roll into the pack. Well, it wasn't there, I don't think, Praveen. Never mind. So it made not, no difference to the shot he actually played. So He's just hoping it hasn't left the touching ball, which apparently not. Just 
just uh, not sure if this red's on to the right of the black. Uh, if it is, it'd be uh, quite a careless shot, that one. I think it is. Chance for Rowan. He's very lucky not to have done any any damage there. There's a red there uh, just next to the black spot he can uh, pop, come out for the pink or the, uh, the blue. Shot. One. Depending on the uh, angle here he may uh, they try and split the pack. Possibly off two cushions here, I feel. Mm. Direct screw into it. Yes. Or right. off two cushions. Two cushions. I need to be a South Australian to pick those. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great pot. Shows that Kurt's uh, increasing in after uh, getting back into the match. Just one. Uh, one frame behind now. It's probably going to go possibly behind the black or screw across with the black into the same pocket. Very gentle and uh, I think he's got a slight angle on the black uh, there. Straight. Yeah, now we have the situation where if that pink spot is still occupied then the black will go up behind the pink where it is. So it um, That'll cut down his options for getting on the next colours. He's uh, one fairly yeah. hard, uh, but he's just again wanted to be straighter onto that uh, red, probably into the middle pocket. But uh, Kurt definitely uh, getting uh, more confident. I feel he's uh, putting his balls quite. for the uh, blue here, I think. And, uh, I expected him to get that one. Mm. Yeah, it's a commentator's curse. <laughs> Choice of shots here for Ryan. Uh, may take this one on down the, the bottom end of the table next to the yellow. Maybe just uh, screw across the front of the three Bolt colours. Out for probably the brown. And then uh, screw or stun down the table. Right, he lost his white there. Still got a shot mm, onto this one into the middle pocket, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's it not easy. Looking to leave a few better choices than that. This is the result of the previous poor positional shot. It's uh, got a difficult yeah. blue here if he takes it on. Awkward, awkward bridging over those reds. But it's there. Good pot. And now he's got a chance here. A tricky red, but if he uh, pots this one, and probably leaves the white ball about where it is now. He's got a chance to try and get back onto the blue and split the pack if he wishes. A little bit straight on this uh, blue. Yeah, it might be just enough angle. Maybe a red on at the back of the pack, closest to Yeah, you may, may take that on first. He's gone too far. He's got to get uh, the black will pot from there, uh, but he's got to get uh, the correct yeah, angle. You'll need one. to squeeze through those reds. Yeah, you'll need to glance off the side of the that red that's right in the middle. The pink won't be on. The black's almost touching it. 
when the referee respots it. Yeah, and that's fallen a little short, unfortunately. He, uh, he wouldn't be able to hit the black first without taking the pink with it. But he's having a go, so we'll see. No, I just rolled up for the snooker. Very clever shot there from Kurt. He's uh, he's let Ryan get his hand on the table, but he's um, he can't easily glance off the edge without hitting the black. So it's just a containing shot. It's a good one. It's left the white hard upon the cushion, so it really cuts down Kurt's options of what he can do with the white. May take this one onto the middle, but it'd be a brave. No, he's just no, going I think there. this is run for cover. Just a bit short on his uh, on his white there. Don't think he's left anything on. Um, so Ryan will just play this and try and leave it on the left hand side of the table. Jeez. relatively easy safety shots on here. Um, yeah, but this red on the left hand side, I think that's on. Mm. He's getting down to play it. But a lot of pressure on it if he misses. Uh, he's missed that by a long way. Dear. Yeah. He was close to the cushion and uh, I think uh, presented Ryan uh, with a really good opportunity here. Depends on uh, where that black will spot. Uh, yeah, we've got the green spot the available, available now, there. so. May concentrate on the pink One. to get that down there, and that will free the black spot. I think you'll go pink. Pink will go down near the green spot. So he's held the black spot, so now the pink spot's still being occupied. Well, that goes to the green spot. Yes. Very clever shot there yeah. from Ryan. Just done the white ball to uh, make that go on there deliberately. Which now frees the black spot up, so it'll go back to its own spot. I can see a sizable break coming up here for Ryan, and this could change the context of this match. Best of 11, so first play to 6. So if Ryan wins this one, then uh, it would be uh, much harder for Kurt to come back. Nicely on the right side of the blue. Just taking some... Uh, Easy balls here to get himself going. Yeah, get a, if he can get a if he can get a rhythm going, Ryan's a really smooth player. To so it's all about getting that uh, position though, and it's just a a ball width short, I think. He was in the area. I think he was thinking whether he should go for those cannon yeah, into we'll those three balls. Try to open them up or to take the one. It may have been the so now another long straight this. one. I've seen him get them before. Mm -hmm. yeah. A very good pot. Mm, a little awkward again, but it's now 24 points in front. Still 59 on the table. And he's landed near the uh, side cushion, and the uh, angle is not a real it's good one. I would have thought to get onto the plate. No. 
adds to the pressure. You would say three centimetres further out, it would have been a, an easy pot. May be able to roll through gently for the black. Yeah, well, that's about the best he could have done. So he obviously wanted to leave the black almost straight. So he didn't want to come too far off the cushion that time. But the error, potentially. 27 points the difference. The 51 left on the table. And... Uh, May have left the red onto the middle, but the uh, the colour would be difficult. Maybe looking at a plant as well. Just a little glance and uh, try and put uh, Ryan in some trouble. I think. But he's. Uh, well, I need to miss that pink. Not a good shot. Uh, it's virtually a free shot at this one for Ryan because the natural angle will take the, the white background up behind the bought colours. Oh, very close there. Well, some uh, pressure balls here. Now this one for Kurt will be quite a difficult pot and very hard to get onto a colour from there. Damage there, I think. With uh, Ryan's yeah. 27 point lead. Yeah, two reds with colours, with fairly decent value colours, will be enough. He hasn't done himself any favours there, but he might be able to get through to the black. his pace on to the red next to the, uh, the yeah. blue. Want to hit the blue full in the face or a little glance off it like that. So that Frame ball. Leaves it pretty simple for him from here. To take a 5-3 lead. Nine. Well, it three frames left after this and uh, Kurt requires all three. 19. As Adam said, uh, he's an absolute fighter. Exhibition shot coming here from Ryan. Looking to Matt. I, I can read his mind like a book. He wanted he wanted that round the world shot. He may have got may have got the triple. <laughs> but no. But takes the frame. Takes a five three lead.
So welcome back. Um, we have a special guest here with us now um, to join us in the commentary. Uh, number 79 in the world on the main tour. Not anymore. Anyway, <laughs> I'll take it. Welcome, welcome along, Vinnie Calabresi. Cheers, Adam. Um, yeah, just... Uh, yes, uh, I haven't done too much commentating, so um, just uh, you can help me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll be fine. You're, uh, you, can, you can tell us a few jokes. Uh. <laughs> so, Vinnie, so you're, you're, you're back uh, taking a little break from the main tour at the moment, are we? Yeah, um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, I'm uh, just back to visit the family, or yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's been a while since I've been back last, and um, you know, <laughs> started to miss the family a little bit. Which <laughs> yeah, that, so. is, that is that is a very tough part for for players coming from Australia under the under the process, with all the qualifiers virtually based in in England. So it's a long way from home, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but um, you know, all the all the actions in the UK, and it's all UK based. And China's coming in now with um, a lot of tournaments, and but yeah, still, you know, like you said, all the qualifiers. So it's it's where you got to be. Yeah. And so you're you're based uh, alongside Mayor Robertson, aren't you? In uh, is it Cambridge? Still living there? Yeah, we, um, you know, Neil, uh, uh, Neil and I. Well, you know, Neil's um, based in Cambridge, and uh, yeah, we. Um, he helps me out, I stay at Heath's, and um, we go to all the tournaments, nearly all the tournaments. So, um, mm. yeah, so it's, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, we see you in the crowd sometimes when Neil's playing on TV. Yeah, it's well, yeah, I go to most of the tournaments. I just normally participate in the first round <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> then watch him um, do his usual yeah. um, stuff. It is very difficult for for a player to come from Australia with um, you know the the conditions of the tables are so different, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah, that we play on the um, star the star tables, and uh, you know, the, yeah, well, all the conditions are different. But yeah, it's just a matter of getting used to them and uh, trying to um, you know get comfortable on 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 the tables. So it's like the same as coming here. You know, this is um, this is a great venue, and the, these tables play lovely. So for other people, like on your, at your general club table, this is like the next step up again. So um, yeah, it's just a matter of getting used to. Once you get used, to them, they're you know they're a dream to play on. Yeah, and as we speak, the player at the table, of course, Kurt Dunham, just won the Oceania Championship, so he'll be joining you over there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've been uh, speaking with Kurt, and um, he's looking to come over to um, to Cambridge and join our club there. And uh, yeah, it'd be good to Ryan, like Ryan as well. He's been um, coming and going a few times, so uh, now Kerr's going to join us. So it's always good when them, uh, you know, we got some of the LZ players. Yeah, it's good to, to have come a, over. A, home, a home base where you can, um, you know, see a few familiar faces. And yeah, no, that yeah, that yeah, that's, that'll be good. But uh, yeah, you've um, you've been com commentating on most of this match. Um, well, a couple of them, yeah. I try to uh, I try to get out of it as much as I can. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I just walked in now and uh, five three four. But you know, Kurt's, this comes out yeah, right. Kurt with a chance here now to. Yeah, he's played a you know pretty decent shot there. So this um, this black a little bit of pressure on it. So if he gets this, you know, we um, have a what twenty odd point lead and the balls are really nice. Unfortunately, we've seen a number of balls draw out like that. Yeah, that was, um, you know, it may have looked you know, like an easy sort of shot, but um, with the pressure attached to it, if he pots it, you know, he'll probably win the frame. And if he misses it, you know, Ryan's got a good good chance of um, getting back into the frame. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it was understandable why he sort of missed that shot. But... Uh, uh, Ryan, I just walked in, sort of thing. I watched a little bit on the uh, on the internet back in the hotel, but yeah, it looks like Ryan's been, you know, well obviously he's five three up, so looks like he's played yeah, slightly he's, better. He's been in control. Yeah, there's um, been a few good little chances, but nothing over or well, nothing over fifty. 
Yeah, well, it's, um, you know, Ryan's sort of, um, well, it is Ryan's first final. Yeah. He's, um, you know, he's been qu close a few times, a lot of semis, and so it's good to see him get into the final, and he's, you know, he's only on one frame away, and he, um, I think he's deserved, he's deserved it, you know, he's put a lot of time in, and, you know, he's been living, uh, he's lived just only a few weeks ago with uh, Neil and I, you know, over in England practicing mm. and that, so... Um, yeah, I think he's heading back again. Yeah, he said that, Very I haven't soon. spoke to him too much, but he said he's going back for a little bit. Oh, that was a nice shot, he had to um, sort of come inside that red there, and um, he's, he's played it perfect, yeah. really. Yeah. So this red across the opposite middle, or is he looking one for one in the corner? I think or leaving yeah, one the black. Uh, not sure if that other one is on, but he can just. It looks like he's going for the blue here. Or oh, I thought maybe if he's got the angle, he can screw back for the black. I'm, I'm not quite sure on the angle mm. he's got. It looks like he's actually he could be playing the pink in the. Uh, to the bottom right hand corner. Oh, he's a bit short there. He might need the rest, but well, he's going to take the black. He's looking at the black. Yeah. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Yeah, if he had a slightly, f you know, fuller kiss on that pink. He um he would have been on a couple of reds, but it's a, just a safety now. I'm not sure. I don't think it's touching mm. ball, so he has to sort of yeah, it's not touching ball. Right. Our uh, video engineer here, Dan's giving us the um the the Close other camera on. angles. <laughs> just the safety from Ryan, and he's played a pretty good safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, the white hard up on the cushion, that's the key. Yeah, so yeah, try and get that white in the back rail. Makes the shot, you know, three times as well. At least a few times harder. Yeah, I think it, uh, Kurt hasn't got the white on the cushion there, but I don't think he's left... Yeah, he's no, left it quite safe. Yeah, he can't get through to that red that's out in the open. So it's another safety from Ryan. And a stray red heading towards the pocket, so he's going to hopefully cover it. Yeah, I think he has covered it, uh, yeah. Adam. I think Kurt's got a... Um, Ready on the left hand side here, you can clip, looks like you can. I think so. So it'd be, you know, Kurt will be looking to get the white sort of in a similar place back to where the white is now. Yeah, in the Actually, same position. He's no, going he's for this, on this, red. this uh, long plant, <laughs> which is uh, uh, <laughs> quite a tough shot. He sort mm. of looks like he's playing at a lot of top. Oh. Oh. He's nailed Fantastic. it. That's the shot <laughs> of the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was an incredible shot. Those balls so far away from each other, and he mm. had to, you know, plant it on one to the other. It's a great shot. And now, with the reds spread nicely, the chance is there. And yeah, it looks like the you know the reds are nice now. It's got one, two, three, four, five open reds. So Four 
ti. Slightly over screwed though. I think he wanted the pink there. He still can get yeah. the pink, but it's you know, it's a bit of a stretch and And if he takes the blue he'll need to go up around the back of the bulk colours. A long way around to get back down to the reds. I think yeah, the blue's a easier pot, but yet yeah, the, the the position is um, you know, a little bit harder. Like you said, he has to run the colours. But the pink's a tougher pot but positions you know, a lot easier. Yeah, much easier. So just concentrate on the pot and I'm sure you'll land on a red. And so, that was a good Very shot. Very well done. Yes, the good pressure on that shot. So 22 point lead. So what's he need? Uh, three reds, Amazing. three colours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice shot. Perfect. Yeah, I haven't seen, well, I haven't seen much of anyone play <laughs> the last couple of years, but, you know, Kurt popped up and won the Oceana, and I remember him, um, you know, a few years ago. He was a fantastic long potter, and um, so, um, you know, get the Oceana win and accept his tour spot. Yeah, he's always been a quiet achiever, Kurt. Yeah, well, he's, he's very uh, good in the in the eight ball. He's like, you know, I believe one of the top ten eight ball players in Australia, and, and the eight ball tour at the moment in Australia's, you know, thinks the highest it's ever been. So, he, you know, handles the pressure very well, and he's won he's won the Australian as well in the um, in the eight ball. Yep. So, um, and yep, a few other few few other of the big eight ball tournaments. So he's, um, you know, he's no stranger to winning. Oh, he's played that. Looks very yeah. nice. So, so thir 37. This will make it 42. So just one more red after this blue. Which I'm pretty sure he'll get. Just a sort of a little stun screw down. And don't get around the back of that blue. <laughs> <laughs> Looks Pulled like it was going, right. yeah. So just this red and then now uh, it's 5-4. Yeah, he's, he's took them pretty well, Adam. Mm. So 42. So it's good to see. So coming from, well, he was 3-0 down and then 4-1. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, so now, now it's 5-4. We're four. looking at 5-4. Yeah. And this all came from that uh, that plant. That. That's right. That long plant, which uh, great shot. And if he'd missed probably would have um, done the same. Exactly. So it was a big shot and uh, he got it. 48. So 48 on, 48 in front, 35 on. Oh yeah, he's uh, Lovely. Yeah, Ryan will definitely... Um, yeah, the, the frame's beyond. Yeah. So hopefully now he can sort of clear the colours. It's always nice to, you know, finish the frame off. No balls left on the table. Gives him good momentum coming into this next frame. Yeah. Which, uh, again, is a must-win frame for Kurt. So, Vinny, what's your schedule now? What's your next tournament? Um, I'm not too sure at the moment, but um, just see how things go. Um, back home for a little bit. The new season back in England doesn't start for think another Whoops. seven weeks or so so you know I might I might I'm not sure yeah I might play the city of Melbourne see how I go and uh, might head over and then head over after that or yeah I'm not sure what's happening just yet but um, yeah yeah it was great to see you back in the country yeah it's good to be back I've been uh, you know all up about three years I've been in uh, Cambridge you know and uh, been back only a couple of times so it's always nice to come home. And uh, yeah, there's the Shanda mm. came up there. These, for those who don't know, Shanda is these tables we're playing on. 
the official table for the IBSF. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, was, I remember playing when they first got introduced in the IBSF in 2010. And uh, yeah, when I first played them, I thought they were fantastic. Well, they are fantastic tables, but yeah, I um, I them and they've been. Um, so that was 2010, mm. and they're still supporting amateur, all the amateur comps near enough. Yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic sponsorship they give to a number of the regional bodies as well as the IBSF. Yes, all the Europeans. Uh, yeah, so yeah, they're um, Shenda, great tables. So it's you know, and it's great we can have this venue here. So you know, it's the exact same table we'll be playing the IBSFs on. So um, you know, get used yeah, to that's them. Right. This this venue here in Adelaide is um, you know, a perfect perfect breeding ground for players preparing to go to for, for for IBSF championships. Yeah, that's right. So you know, um, <coughs> so now we can get you know more used to the conditions before going over to the IBSF and you know, having to get used to them while we're over there. Like, you know, so um, we can get a bit more accustomed to them. I think this might go 6-5, um, you know, Kurt, Kurt just loves going to the decider. That's it. <laughs> He's it's, a, uh, it's a bold prediction. It's certainly, he's got form, let's say that. <laughs> Yeah, so um, this is obviously a big frame. Obviously, Ryan wins, he wins, and Kurt to take it to a decider. Every frame's a big frame, but. <laughs> and also, we'd probably like to thank um, the Reventine Group. This is, um, I only just sort of found this out not too long ago, but this is one of, is this? The second, the Reventon rankings. Yeah, that's right. So this is the second um, tournament, which um, includes these uh, Reventine ranking series events. So, as I believe, after, there's yeah, so nine there events? Nine events that count. Nine, nine uh, events. Your, your, your scores count. So then, and the top six on the ranking list will qualify along with the Australian under-21 champion and a wildcard player to be selected. So there'll be eight players coming here playing off for a $10,000 winner-take-all prize. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, um, it gives an incentive to, um, you know, play a few more tournaments and try and get into that top six. And uh, so that's, uh, you know, big thanks to Reventine Group. And uh, yeah, and back here at this venue. That's right. So back here that will be the, that'll be the third for the um, for the for the men's because I I did see the calendar We've got have all the juniors and some of the billiards here as well. Yeah, they're doing very well to to step up and host a lot of major events this year. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's you know, making use of this great venue. It's it's great for Australian snooker. Yeah. So yeah, it's, that's great. So there's also big thanks to Sean Budd <laughs> and Jenny Budd, you know, yeah. they're holding down the fort here. Fantastic hosp hospitality here. Yes, yeah, oh, Sean and Jenny, you know, known them for a long time and they've always been very nice people, so couldn't ask for a better couple. To be, um, and also, yeah. yeah, obviously the South Australian Association, so... Be hoping to get in behind that yellow. Which is just about done. No, no, there's the no, uh, the white. one. I you think you're sort of shaping up to. for this red here. Yeah. Nearly, nearly got it, but um. Yeah, I think Kurt be going for this, and looks like he's going to try and you know deep screw this back. A little bit of safety in mind, but the pot. Just a stun, but hasn't really done him any favours. No, yeah, I'd maybe that's what he played. I'm not sure. I think maybe he tried to just scroll back a little. Well, maybe he just went. Yeah, well, he he couldn't mm. play another safety, so safety there was just potting the ball. So 
That's a good safety. Mm. Now he's played. He's played a very good safety there. And now, so he's put Ryan in trouble now. Yeah, so he's looking to, to glance off for this pack and negotiate a path through, which he's managed to do. Oh, wow, yeah, he's played a great shot there. Yeah, yeah very good just shot. Just off the rail again. Oh, he'll be happy with that. You know, there was, he's gone through a couple of balls there, and yeah, he's, he's played it well. Unfortunately, a little short from Kurt. Yeah, he has left it short, but I'm not sure quite on this angle here. If, if if Ryan can, you know, top this in and sort of go back up to Bork, he'll be taking this on. And, uh... Oh, he could be... Looks like he's putting a bit of bottom. He could be... I don't know what he's doing here. Yeah, I don't, th don't think the black will go. Oh, yeah, he stunned it around. Stunned but around the back of the pack. Yeah, he didn't... It looks like he didn't have much angle yeah. there, so... It was hard to swing the wide around, and <coughs> so um, he's landed short. But he's, you know, he'd be happy to pot the and try and play good safety here. I think he's nearly played a great shot, but he's uh, he's just left enough of a red here where I think Kurt can just hit it yeah, thin and go back edge. up to bulk. But it's not an easy shot. And uh, oh, he's found a little gap there, so <laughs> it could have been a bit uh, and how it's come out. So it's a little bit fortunate from um, Kurt there. I don't think he wanted to hit that red as full as he did. So just the safety from Ryan. Try and get behind the green here on the cushion. A little bit short from well Ryan short. as well. Yeah. So they're just both playing safe here, you know, waiting for... Yeah, just working the balls, waiting for an opportunity. That was a good shot from Kurt. Ryan's got a thin one here. If he, you know, he has to, don't want to hit this too thick or is he going off and too thin, he'll miss it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a little too thin, I'm afraid. And then he might be playing from there. Or a free ball. Yeah, free Kurt ball for Kurt. You yeah. take you know, the green or the brown and then work his way in for a break. So, the, you know, yeah, but it's really no no difficulty of getting out of it. So Kurt's decided to put them back. So that was a foul miss, so um, Kurt selected to get the ball replaced and Ryan will uh, attempt to play the same shot again. And he's played that very well. Oh, he's oh. played it to perfection. Beautiful. Uh, Kurt might be ruining his decision there to put the balls back. Yeah. Would have hit the pink. 
So that'll be six points for Ryan. And well, I think he's Kurt's gotten away with it there. He hasn't really left anything on. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, not, not, not nothing too easy for Ryan to start with. So he's going to have the yeah, white mean. replaced and. Um, Kurt, I think Kurt's trying to rest on that red just past yeah, the pink there. Yeah, tried to come off two cushions and come up in behind that red. Yeah, so. Which is a better effort this time. Oh, yeah, the angle's definitely but, on. Uh, yeah, no, not quite there. So just get it replaced again. power in that one and he's hit one but I'm not sure if that was the intended red he wanted and I'm not sure if he's actually left if, it, if this uh, red passes the other reds Very careless from Ryan. Yeah, I, I, yeah, he tried to obviously go back up into ball. It was a tough sort of shot, and he's uh, made a mess of it. Mm. And Ryan has played a fair bit of billiards, so he should have known that angle. Yeah, I think he just you know caught it a bit too thick, and the balls were quite close. So when the balls are quite yeah, close, it's very, um, yeah, very hard to judge. Yeah, it, it's, it's hard to judge the shot. And he was, he was trying, you know, extra careful not to cannon the black. And he's, you know, might have um, put a bit too much screw on it. And he's um, avoided the black, but he's gone in off. And looks like he's played a good shot here. I can uh, see already. Yeah, he wants a he little bit snook. short. He hasn't got the snooker, but um, as you can see, he's, he's cut off the left side of the table. So even though Ryan can see a few reds, but there's no... There's no um, yeah, very difficult... Yeah, there's no back. obvious yeah. safety shot I can see of. So, um, he just played um, sort of the dump shot. And that's, um, yeah. that's basically, that was it, where you play the sort of the containing shot. Oh, he's, he's left the red poking out there. And it's sort of a yeah. shot to nothing for Kurt. He can, um, you know pot that as he did and go up yep. to balk without any sort of, you know. Yeah, yeah, nicely on the blue. Yeah. And the question will be whether the the red that's on the left of the black, whether that uh, would get passed, which I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it goes, but... Um Sort of, um, if he's got a nice angle here, he can sort of roll this red in. I would say, yeah, yeah, he looks like he wants to kiss the reds on the pink spot and he's going to automatically hold for the pink. Yes. And um, he could clear the pink spot as well. So um, the pink will be replaced. Caught it a little thin. Yeah, he caught it a bit, bit too thin. That's why the white ran away. But um, it's on the... I'd have to take the blue here, in and out of bulk, and um, come back down for the reds. So he's taking the blue, looks like he's playing just, you know, the, the one cushion in and out of bulk. He played the positional yeah, he shot got, he very got the well. Yeah, second but, um, half of the shot correct, but you know sometimes when you are playing sort of the positional shot like that, you know you take your eye off the pot and uh, you concentrate on the position, and you know that's what's happened there. Which gives Ryan the opportunity now. Yeah, if he, well, can, if he can get in, he just needs this frame. The ball's 
you know, there, there's a few open reds, but I think you might need a couple of those reds that, you know, a bit clustered there on the on the on the bottom cushion there to seal off the frame. But he definitely can get a, you know, a few point lead. So he's, he's, I think he's checking here to see if the pink goes to the middle pocket. And... Well, it'll go to the right-hand side, I can tell you that it much. It won't go to the left middle, but I think if he stops the white near enough with, near the red, he can um, get the black. That's right, he's gone for the black. And he looks all right there. should be right. So when he, when he pots this black, he'll... You know the red that was it's blocking now that will open up. Oh, become available. Yep. The only. But I think you might play for the red near the pink here. Just and he has, and I'm not sure. It looks slight. He slightly overran that a little bit. But um, Ryan's quite quite a tall guy, so um. Yeah, yeah he can no, reach that no, easy. No Me, I, I probably wouldn't have reached that. <laughs> Oh, he's played that really nice. So, he's nicely on the Ooh, pink here. I'm not sure if that red to the right of the black will pass. We'll know in a minute now. And I don't think it... Well, wow. Well, yeah, it's it's very tight. From, from it's very angle, tight, but, uh, but um, I would say if it did pass, he'd, he'd be down already. So, he's just looking to find... To pick out another red somewhere. Yeah. And I'm not yeah, sure... So he might need to try and get below the black to, yeah, it, to get that red on that, the, the that right That would be end. what he's trying to do, but I'm not sure if the angle's there either. He might be coming back across the table. Oh. So, yeah, again, thinking so much about the position, yeah, you I forgot think, about potting the ball. I think he was trying to um, put a touch of left-hand side there so he could um, create create yeah. the angle to um, come low on, you know, for that gap there. Mm -hmm. And um, as when you ever you do play side, it makes the pot a little bit harder. And there, I'm sure if he just had to roll the pink in, he uh, wouldn't have missed it. And you know, it's um, you know, he he knows this is the um, you know, the winning frame, so it's always that little bit extra hard harder to um, to win. This red passes here, and I think I think Kurt will be taking yeah, this one. It's can, worth a go. He should he be can, able to avoid the reds. Just, yeah. yeah, he just... I think he won't be going near those reds if he just tops it in. I think he did go for the pot yeah, there, Adam, but he's, uh, he hit it slightly too thin. He's left Ryan a similar shot, yeah. but Ryan... Yeah, Ryan will hit that red. Yeah. So he, um, Ryan will be just playing this safety here. I think he'll be swinging this around the angles and hopefully they get b on the cushion behind the yellow. Kurt will just be hitting this thin as well, back up towards the colours. And uh, he's played a... Yeah, he's done well. Yep. Maybe an edge of this red available, but I don't think he can get the potting angle. I think he might be able to actually. Definitely tight. If he can't, he'll just um, play another sort of dump shot. Or oh, I think it might be on. Oh no, it wasn't on, and he's played a great, a great thin uh, safety there. It was a lot harder than it looked, actually. So 11 points of difference here, and um, they're both um, playing a an exchange of safety here. Mm, so with the, with the balls bunched up on that cushion there uh, that I call the top cushion, but. Uh, on TV, they seem to call it the bottom because it's the bottom of the screen. Okay, but there's, yeah. But there's really no value in in trying to take one red when uh, you know the rest of the balls are all bunched up like that. 
Oh, beautiful. So that's a he's, uh, nice result. Yeah, he's very good for shot Ryan there. there. But um, even though Kurt snookered, he's got quite a quite a big target to hit here, and it, and there's a, there's a bit of room to even get it safe. So um, yeah, we must leave it safe though. There's yeah, so much open potential now. to. The black's nearby too, and. Yes, he's trying to he's come in and get the side of this little pack. Yeah, I'm not sure if that. But, uh, if that yeah, was we the. Were, uh, we were obstructed, but um, he must have missed them. Yeah. And Ryan will have them replaced. I thought there was a there's a slightly better way to go here, but maybe the angle's just not quite on. When I seen the the other camera angle there, I thought maybe two cushions here you know, to. Um, just come past that mm. black and come to the same side where Kurt's trying to get to now, but from the cushion. Yeah. Oh, he's gone a slightly thinner way here, and he's got safe. Yeah. So it's not bad. You know, everyone sees different shots, and he's got that safe. So that's the main thing. See, so oh, looks like Ryan's got a bit of a free shot here. He can take the centre. Ah. Oh wrong again. I didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was maybe a bit too thin. I thought the way he was aiming, he was going to, you know, try and drop that in the middle and uh, the black's over the pocket, so he just has to kind of try it on the pot. But um, he's played a decent shot there. So just swinging this around the angles with the left hand side. Mm, there's a bit of a shot to nothing here available for Kurt. He yeah, can, I think he can it have is. a go at this and yeah, he can the go the pot the and back um, up in bulk naturally. Oh yeah, I thought I thought that was possible. The uh, the pink was sort of in in the way, but he. Uh, he hasn't done too much harm. There's a red on here, but it's a tough yeah, shot. Very, very tough. There's, you know, there's not much straight as well, and but but it's in. Great shot. Yeah, he could. He had the angle to top it in, and looks like he's got the angle on the blue to go back down as well. I'm not sure exactly. Scott, so. Yeah, so would you be would you be trying to break up these reds from this shot or just just um, take the blue and If there's enough angle, then... we'll see. Yeah, probably not quite enough. No, so to... um, he's got the the six extra points, but now he has to sort of try and come up with a with a safety. So yeah, I'm not I'm not sure exactly um, what I would have done there. But he, he's got the six extra points, puts him 21 in front. And uh, he's not played the greatest safety, but he hasn't left anything for Kurt. But Kurt does have a nice little, um, he can hit this uh, furthest left hand red and um, get, there's a few balls he can snooker in behind here, the brown, green. Yeah, there's a big target area there, which, yeah. you know, if you don't get behind one, you've got another one that could come to your rescue. And in that case, he's come in front of one, which uh, is what we call, um, what's this shot? Is it That's the Chinese snooker. That's the one. That's so the old, now the yeah. old racist terminology that we use. <laughs> so now, yeah, it <laughs> makes the shot a lot harder. You have to on the ball, and, and he's played it quite well. Yeah, but it's... um. Especially for me, it's not a, it's not a nice shot. I'm a lot shorter than Ryan, so you know it's easier for yeah, him to get up and large, over the ball. Large hands and yeah, tall tall player yeah, makes it really easy. Yeah, <laughs> basically level with it when he's coming over the shot. A yeah, similar shot Kurt had last shot, same sort of shot. Play it around the angles with a bit of side, and he's played this one a bit better now. And um, 
Oh, it's similar to the shot Ryan had a few shots ago. Yeah, so he might he might be forced into taking this pot on. Yeah. Oh he wow! Doesn't miss that. Um, that shot may have. Uh, wouldn't say one in the frame just yet, but he's got this pink here, and um, you know it's uh, going to put him. What would that put him? Thirty, thirty-five. No, twenty. Twenty-five, twenty-nine in front. And. Uh, Oh, very unfortunate there not to have landed on a red. Yeah, so um, he, uh, he had a couple of options there. He could have played for the loose red. Just depends how you like playing, but I might have played for the loose red there myself in this situation because, um, you know, if he would have got that red and leave Kurt to try and sort of open the balls with uh, with. You know Ryan having the lead already, yeah, and being being you know the Ryan's you know penultimate frame. So, but you know if if he got a nice split there, he would be clearing up right now. So, just just how you feel. But he's played a good safety. Yeah, I'm not sure if the shot's on, but there is a safety. Looks like yeah, he's, he's rolling to up to that, or he can take yeah, this. Lot. Yeah, it's not easy to get back from ball playing a thin edge. No, off that red. There's a shot near the black. I think the red near the black. If he can sort yeah, of hit sort that, of a, a thin half ball there. Yeah, to go past the red on the bottom cushion but then he also s has to sort of pass the red yeah, to the right of the pink, pink and it's, it's, red, it's yeah. not an easy shot either. You know, all the shots here as hard as each other so yeah, so just try and pick one where he thinks he might you know have a bit more success success with that's the way and um yeah but ryan's played a, a very good safety there so so it looks like he's just yeah, trying to... just the dribble up, I think. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's done a fantastic job to get through those balls. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... It was a... It was uh, a left, good shot. Left, left, sure left a couple of chances, yeah. It um, just didn't have the pace to get back into a, a good, safe position. Yeah, but I think he'll he'll be he'll be, he'll take that. Um, so, but if you know if Ryan Potts is, he, then he deserves to win. Oh, yeah, great yeah. shot! And uh, I think he's on the black as well. So, um, oh, he's not. I can't. It's hard to tell. But uh, that was a fantastic pot. He must be feeling it a little bit, Ryan, you know. So, um, yeah, that was, um, it certainly was easier than the red he just potted. Yeah, it was, yeah. But then that's my problem. I always miss the easy ones, too. Yeah, most of us do. <laughs> I think um, I think he's certainly got away with that one. There's a red mm. on this bottom cushion here, a bit of a thing, Nick. But Ryan can play in such a way where he can take the white back up into bulk. So it's um, sort of a shot to nothing. And he's um, oh, he got a little kiss there. Didn't quite want that, but main thing is part of the red. And if he can play a nice roll up here yeah, to the brown, more safe. So thirty in front. Or he could push the brown safe. Yeah, I think he... Yeah, I think he's just looking at...
the white where where the brown is and push the brown over to the. I think he's just. Cushion. Gonna, Oh, he's just, oh, just the roll-up. No, the roll-up, that's the way. Anyway, what's that, 30 points? Four reds left. So, yeah, so Kurt, Kurt can't really give away too much here, and he's in a snooker. He needs to really lay up onto a red here. Maybe... Mm, I don't think he was playing for that one. And that's been left on. It has, but it's... um. On this angle, it's a bit thinner than probably it looks. So, um, it's definitely on. The white's going up to bulk. Oh, there, there's mm, another red. the one on the cushion. Depends, yeah. Well, no, he's having a look. Sort of Kirk, you know, Kurt had a little... There's a few shots on, but Kurt could something a lot easier. So, he'll be praying um, Ryan... Uh, Ooh. Mm, wiped its feet before it went in that one. And, um, well, yeah, positions here is almost automatic. So, Ryan would just concentrate on the, on the black here, on the pot. And, um, I think if this goes in, it's pretty much the match. And, uh, so that's 54 plus 16. That's, uh, is that 28 or 38? 38, 38, 38, now 39 the difference. So just this pink, put in 45 in front with 43 on. And, uh, well, yeah, officially, um, Kurt needs snookers, so, and Ryan is a really good with the rest play, I've, um, I've uh, had to feel that the last month or so in England. He's very good at the rest. And, uh, yeah, so yeah, he's... No mistake, yeah. So his congratulations to Ryan. He... Um, That's his first ranking tournament victory. Yeah, he... Uh, we often talk about it, that he's, he's had a load of semi-finals. And uh, so actually quite, you know, quite, quite happy for Ryan. He's um, been putting the work in a lot. And... Um, and uh, now he's finally got his uh, first ranking tournament, and I'm sure he'll get a few more. But um, yeah, just really, really pleased for him. And and Kurt, you know, he's, he's had he's had win. Uh, what was it? The last tournament? Yeah, he won the Oceania Championship. The last tournament so he's played was a, he won that, and then he's had a runner up yeah, here to so make another final. Certainly no, no, e no easy feat. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, this is Ryan's Ryan's exhibition blow here now. Good on Ryan, he's uh deserves it uh, more than anyone else. He really puts the time in and there's the handshake, so it's always a good feeling. But yeah, well so done good. to both of the boys, you know, they're the two of the younger boys coming through. So it's um, always good to see. Yeah, well thank you uh, for joining us here. It's great to see you back. Uh, and we'll hopefully see you at a couple of tournaments while you while you're back here on your little holiday yeah hopefully yeah I'll, well, like i said i might play the city of melbourne and um and then see how we go but yeah thanks for having me and also cube tv thanks for um you know showcasing main snooker and it's dan lynch so keep up the good work dan yeah, it's fantastic work that dan does yeah it is yes and um yeah, just again, so. thanks for um new venue we've got in Australian Snooker. So anyone in um well anyone in Australia or even South Australia, obviously, if you want to play on uh, pro conditions and get a feel for um you know just playing on great tables, come down to the the venue down in South Australia. And yeah, just have a um, have a game on these lovely tables and um, get more people playing. So with that...
So, uh, so I guess we'll uh, wrap up our commentary there. So the inaugural City of Adelaide champion is Ryan Thomason. Yes. And we'll see you back at the next event, the City of Melbourne, in uh, the middle of May. Is it the middle of May? 25. Yeah. If anyone wants to know, go to the ABC website with all the, the, all the details. And, um, yeah, so good night, guys. And yeah, in honour of Ronnie Colbert, who passed away this week. It's good night right. from me. And, and then uh, you're supposed to say, and it's good night from him. <laughs> and good night from me. taking the game so seriously that he's heading off to London uh, or to England next week uh, to meet up with um, Neil Robertson and uh, you're going to spend a bit of time over there gaining more experience so we wish you all the best in your ventures over there but in the meantime well done on the great tournament.
through cable TV, um, and yeah, it was, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone, thank you. Before you go, um, Ryan also got the highest rate of the tournament of 101, and uh, there's a little plaque there, and uh, check also for you, mate. Well done. <laughs> Staying for so late tonight, uh, it was a very entertaining final. It did go for a fair while, but uh, you know, when best of eleven, um, it does take a while to get through. But uh, to everyone for staying on, thank you very much indeed. To Dan, Cubal TV, great job again. Uh, to Remington, um, this is one of our qualifying tournaments already, and uh, they've put up ten thousand dollars to be winner take all at the end of the year for the. Uh, for the top six ranked players to play, the under 21 Australian national champion, which will be decided next week at, um, at the Brunswick Club, and uh, Reverton have reserved the right for one wild card, so whoever that may be, that's at their discretion, obviously. But before I um, we find, before we wind up things, I'd just like to call on Chris, whether you'd like to say a few words, Chris, on behalf of the venue. <laughs> Uh, Frank, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank you for uh, all your work in relation to this tournament. But uh, you do so much for the ABSC that uh, uh, goes unrecognised. But I understand it's a, a hell of a lot of work for you, and uh, it is appreciated by all of us. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, Roger, thank you for all your efforts, uh, not just uh, throughout this tournament, but uh, you know, and a whole of uh, new referees uh, here in South Australia. Uh, and the work that you do day by day here uh, in keeping this venue running, uh, very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, Terry, well, I, I see you there taking photos. Uh, much appreciate you being here as well. Um, and uh, the event on Wednesday night, the uh, uh, Mentors and Grasshoppers, uh, fantastic event for us here. So um, thank you very much for that. And. Uh, um, yeah, I think uh, Kerry's uh, photography is becoming iconic as far as the um, uh, game of is concerned in uh, Australia, so uh, uh, it's a great thing to do in that regard. Uh, to the referees, um, you know, it's a tough job, and I think uh, it's probably harder being a referee than it is being a player on a lot of occasions. Um, so to the official referees and all the players who contributed towards that as well, uh, very much thank you. Um, to the ABSC uh, board representatives, we appreciate your, uh, your presence here, um, and uh, well, we hope to see more of you here, and probably also around Australia. But uh, thanks for being here. I hope the uh, the menu was successful. Oh, um, so uh, we'll wait for the outcome of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did make a few notes, so I don't forget anyone. Um, our committee, uh, we've got a very dedicated committee here in South Australia, and uh, um, I appreciate all the work that they do. Uh, a couple of them here at the moment. Peter Weber, our treasurer, and Jenny Dangerfield, our secretary. Uh, any other? Is Jenny here at the moment? Sean or not? I'm is Jenny? Oh, I think she just left. Okay, well, Jenny's on our committee too, so much appreciated. Um, to Frank for uh, getting this uh, particular tournament into the, uh, the round of um, uh, Remington events. Uh, it gives us a lot more status, and uh, we're very privileged to be having the grand final at the uh, Remington. Uh, here in October. Mm -hmm. So we we'll look forward to uh, many of the players coming back for that. Uh, to our volunteers, um, you know, they help uh, every day here, but during this tournament, uh, Stuart, uh, who you may have seen around the place, uh, has been getting here early, preparing everyone at the table, vacuuming the place, cleaning it up, uh, and getting it presentable for each day of the tournament. Uh, he does really quite an exceptional job for us. Again, he's not here at the moment, probably having an early night, so he can start again tomorrow morning. Uh, Cole Conlon did something in this and uh, he refereed the um, semi-final on this table earlier today. James Giannaris, uh, Peter Darby, uh, Jenny, um, Derek Hill uh, to organise the trophies and did a lot of refereeing for us as well. So all their contributions are uh, well and truly appreciated. Um, uh, Danny Townsend, for a lot of you know, he came in uh, for three days this week with his wife to uh, make sure all the tables were get them and uh, I hope you all enjoyed um, 
kept in playing conditions uh, throughout the tournament, which is what we're trying to present here, uh, a centre of excellence for snooker and billiards. Uh, to all the players, uh, obviously we appreciate your presence here. We've had a, um, uh, a pretty good the, uh, the best in Australia. Uh, congratulations to, uh, to all of them, uh, in particular uh, these two guys here. Uh, Ryan, I wish you the best in England. And uh, look we'll forward to seeing you back here again soon. Uh, to all the spectators, thank you for your presence as well. Uh, we hope to um, uh, establish more of a presence here in South Australia and an awareness of our, awareness of our presence. And uh, you know, it'd be great to have 100 spectators here. Uh, we've had 20 or so here tonight, but uh, we can get 50 or so. and. Um, uh, we're endeavouring to get a little bit of um, television coverage as well. Well, that's all going to help the game in Australia. Um, to Dan for uh, his work with the, uh, the streaming, and uh, we've got the commentators, uh, Glenn D'Amica, Sean, and I think Vinny was there for a while too, wasn't he? I think uh, uh, a bit, yeah. Thank <laughs> 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 um, And uh, we've been helping with the uh, airport um, uh, transfers of the people. Um, uh, thank you all, I really enjoyed it, and uh, we certainly look forward to welcoming you here as soon as possible. Uh, I think our next big event is um, July. July, uh, we've got the juniors in the meantime, yes. so these guys, next next, next event is uh, Pop Lake in July. We'll very much look forward to seeing you there. The ladies in May. The ladies in May. how much I appreciate uh, uh, what you do for us all here. Um, terrific job. Uh, we're really quite privileged to have Sean as our general manager here. Thank you, thank you very much, everyone. No, I think you've got everyone. Thank you very much for coming in. Good night to all.